video transmission complete. Don't do it, Mola. You have so much to live for. Oh, I'll survive it. I survived Gollum. I didn't survive Kong, true. But surely the Gollum thing, that gives me some level of resistance. This game has peak dialogue. Hmm, we'll see about that. Why does this have to be attached to the Arkhamverse? I hope we're not looking at the next Last of Us 2. I've never felt like more of a boomer than when I was playing this uh, without volume on. Not because I don't understand video games, but because video games have gone to a place that I don't like. Ah, uh, Metropolis. It's the little things that really change a city's vibe. Like your voice. Oh, aren't you supposed to be a yank, Hiles? Even I got the reference. And you're supposed to be a yank house. For anyone who doesn't know, they tried to take this game off the servers briefly because people were getting instant completes on it, which is pretty fucking funny. Wall climb, baby. What else we got? Are there things to note? To collect? I have a feeling this is all not to be interacted with at all. It's just to be walked through, isn't it? Okay. Jesus, this looks generic. Yeah, so I was going to wait a little bit before I talked about it so you guys could see more of it, but obviously it's uh, not looking great so far. Your voice is going to take so much getting used to. Every time. Uh, it's, just, it's just, look, it's my bias, all right? I feel like there's going to be so much that I won't be able to appreciate in like the world around me because I have not much reason to, to look around. Uh, the dialogue is already so millennial, kill me please. Yo, oh yeah, it's trying a little hard already, which is a bit disappointing, but don't worry. We're going to have dramatic moments in this. From what I understand, we're going to have really good sort of efforts to capture that dramaticism. Dramatism. Dramumbo. Oh my god, that running animation is so floompy. I imagine that stuff like that is actually going to pass muster. It's the um, the live service aspects that are probably going to fuck it over. And then the general gameplay, which I imagine is just not going to have been uh, optimized for very well of, of, of like single player intrigue. that. Floyd, mate, you ever taken a vacation that wasn't work? Floyd, mate, you ever taken a vacation that isn't work? That fucking Australian accent is oral torture to me. You ready for constant one-liners? Because that's what this game is, Molly. I've already, yeah, we've already been getting fucking shit tons of them. Shark sounds retarded yet says big words. Well, that's all they've got so far. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what me? Yeah, see... I uh, the fuck's going on in the background, eh? Half a brainiac's army. Yeah, all on my own. Yeah, me. I ain't playing as this motherfucker. I, uh, then again, I don't know. I was about to say, like, does it change how much dialogue I have to deal with? Mental boomerang, make it back. He has a speed force boomerang. I ain't gonna fucking question it. I don't know how that works, nor will I likely ever. Painful VA. It has been so far, yeah. Okay. And why? It feels auto aim I don't know what's going on. Do that? That's gotta be auto aim. Ugh, feels like aim snapping. Yeah. That definitely is uh, the experience I'm getting. I thought that just counts under like aim assist or whatever. I handled it like a professional. Like a professional. Do you know what he reminds me of is Pim's dad in Smiling Friends? I've been working in the bloody mines. Of 16 hours. I want to shut the fuck up, woman. I was down in the bloody mines for 14 hours today. But like, not funny, because it's all about contrast, right? This is just constant. I'm gonna be honest. With the maneuverability so stacked, it's like you start just pressing buttons and you sort of just make it. Are you puppeting the dead guns again? <laughs> that shit is creepy. Yeah, a little bit. But it's a balm on my soul in these trying times. Oh. Could be worse. I could be like Boomer. Oi! What's that supposed to mean? There is speculation that you may not bathe, but merely cleanse your weaponry. Mate, where my boomerangs go, I go. Including the showers, uh, the dunny, everything. Yeah, you're really not helping your case here. This is hell. I've died, and this is what my hell looks like. Fucking hell. Boomerang, you smell. Nuh-uh. My boomerangs sometimes go to a shower. 
and that's where I'll go if that happens. You're not helping your case, buddy. This is hell. This is my personal hell. Oh, why are they allowed to have dialogue? Who allowed this? Every time Boomerang's VA speaks I feel like he's gonna die, and every time Harley speaks I feel like I'm gonna die. It's so sad what's happened to Harley Quinn, she's probably my favorite character in the Arkham games besides Joker, they just made her a fucking obnoxious. It's all I've found of her in recent, you know, entries in DC. Harley Quinn is a fucking annoying creature that just gloms on to everything in the games, or the, the story I guess I should say. She's grappling a drone. So this is her tech. It's that she's stolen Batman's grappling hook and a Batman drone. That's how she gets around. Well, I got some surprises of my own. Well, I got some surprises of my own. Like dying, apparently. Oh, okay. So everybody in chat who wanted me to play as Harley Quinn, you, you're asking too much. Uh, the fact that a lot of people think, hey, these guys are baddies, so they should be pissing on people is a bit stupid. Yeah, a little bit. That's a really weird fucking argument. It's really weird that people treat disrespect, evil, or um, antagonistic as a binary. You either are or you aren't. And it's like, uh, isn't it a scale? And then you have to do things that are in character and, and, and all that shit. And then of course there's considering the meta. This game is a sequel, unfortunately, to the Arkham Batman games. That was a choice. No automatic recharge. Every second you spend hiding behind cover is wasting my time. Oh, that's the way they try and justify that? You'll have to fight for it. That means harvesting shield charge from enemies in close combat. <laughs> Sorry. So, so she's saying we would have given you the tech to have rechargeable shields, but we don't want you being cowardly and hiding behind cover, which is obviously the way that we could have had the Suicide Squad last longer in theory, when don't we desperately need them to take out a mind-controlled uh, Justice League? That seems like a weird thing to say, but it's like they try to account for it in-universe, which is, oh, sorry, in-game, mechanically, which is that you have to earn shield back. So I gotta shoot enemies in the legs until they enter shield harvestable state, then melee attack them. This enemy is ripe for harvest! This enemy is ripe for harvest. That doesn't sound fucking strange at all. This but Daily Planet was once a bastion of journalistic integrity. Now look at what's become of it. That doesn't feel like a king shock. one of the highest callings one can have. To inform others. To shed light on misdeeds. To gossip. Courtly gossip can mean the difference between life and death. Even in my home, the words of Lois Lane and Cat Grant are sacrosanct. I am honored to have been able to pass through this space. Though I am disappointed in the lack of treats. You didn't have, you didn't have to write that. You didn't have to... Have have that guy say that line. The difficulty mode isn't tied to gameplay, it's how much dialogue you can stand before rage quitting. <laughs> they just plug in more fucking lines the higher the difficulty you choose. Trust me, all the boomerang's dialogue gets worse somehow. It's already fucking piss. I think they're really happy with the whole you hit something and then you can juggle with the mi minigun, but it's so, like, forced, for lack of a better term, if I can explain this. Like, there's no way I'm gonna fuck it up, is what I mean. The, uh, the snapping just, you know, doesn't give me a chance to. My take here is that the, the shield harvesting is clearly, like, a, a, a remix on the, the attempts in, like, Doom to get you to play differently. Not sure if it's worked it's out, though. <laughs> Wait, is this good? Did everyone just die? It's okay if that's the case. Oh, it's- I know what this is. Hang on, quit set- I- Okay. <laughs> like, video games as whatever the hell this is, it's so fucking strange. The way this works is that it's all ready for, like, joining multiplayer online stuff. And so to, to just to have a single-player experience, quote-unquote, the way you'd have to do it is like this. We'll figure this out eventually, but um, this this way of playing single player campaigns makes me want to die. Oh no! Okay, all right. The one after this. So leave session. Session. <laughs> also, wait. Difficulty. Yeah, we're on the hardest difficulty at least. That's gonna be. I'm gonna something I regret eventually. I'm sure. Not surprising the people who worked at the studio who made this now work at Sweet Baby Inc. You remember them, right, Mola? Um, I Sweet Baby Inc. has not exactly got the best reputation at this point. Alright, yeah. Also, let's have a look around, I guess. So... 
firearm. Oh, this is so much stuff. Uh, emojis. He has a small bulge. It's good that you're noticing the important things. Is this VA worse than Crispy Critters? Oh, dude, the Australian lad in this is trying so hard, but I have a feeling this is something they told him to do. Just talk like a fucking crazy Australian. They said wait just a sec. This feels like it's a little longer than a sec. Next, Nostalgia Critic EFAP Wen. You must keep watching Doug until you learn to love him. Hail Doug, embrace Dougism. Doug is truth, Doug is life. Yeah, he's alright. Uh oh. What, uh. I haven't frozen, have I? Look, it says just a sec, alright? Wouldn't be surprised this game has auto aim. This game was made by retards for retards. I mean, so far I'm getting that vibe as well. I mean, it's an opportunity to talk about how this is not my kind of game. I don't know if it's a matter of getting older, but some of the games I really love to play these days are like indie small shit that you, you started up and it's just you as a little blob character and then it's like, doesn't even tell you what the controls are. You know, like, I played, um, it was a dome mining game. I was having to go at Kingdom as well. Okay, do you think I should restart? Game's definitely crashed. Okay. God damn it. The A director be like, can you do Mortal Kombat's Kano but bad? And he goddamn did it. Oh, forced. Oh, there we are. Again, it's part Australian, I'm insulted. I think you've got a lot more insult to take throughout this stream. Um, it's frustrating to see fans criticize that scene and others just mock mock them without trying to understand their reasons. You can understand why though, can't you? Why do you imagine anyone would be so upset with what they've chosen to do? Why do you imagine that may have happened? And I'm going to be honest with you, man. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to find more context that could ever make it better, but I'm, uh, I've been told by several people it ain't gonna, because uh, obviously there's already full story videos being dropped at this game. So when I hit play this time... Joining the fray countdown, like, ugh. Hopefully this time it loads. Oh, look, it's instant this time. My name is Amanda Waller. I am the director of Argus, a division of Homeland Security you've never even heard of. All right. We've heard of you. And I'm here to make you an offer. Desperate. Hungry. Oh, he's peeing. You know. On, I think that was on the flash, too. If only he can realize his dream. It's forgotten about you. Look, there's ha-ha-ha on the walls. You're going you ever seen that before? In the, in the cells? Bad. With the ha-ha-ha. This is a microbomb injector from our friends at Let's Corp. Stick it in your target's neck, and it's good night. Damn. I only need one of you. As for the other three, you are dead already. <laughs> like a knife. <laughs> I could do the same thing, yeah. Makes sense Waller would want the world's deadliest assassin in her pocket. <laughs> I've been inside five freaking years. Feels like I've been stuck in this conversation for five years. Oh. Isn't Deadshot supposed to be white? Aren't you supposed to be shutting your damn mouth? Kangaroo looking ass. What? Because you are Australian. Okay, so we oh. can murder each other. I have grown quite skilled at... <laughs> Enjoy your nothing, idiots. Maybe you should have spent less time in brain class and more time learning how to pick locks. <sighs> like pick locks with what? <laughs> Wait, how did you pick a lock? Oh, wow, they're so wacky. Look at them go. I feel like King Shark do like doesn't have any trouble here. Yeah, yeah. I totally buy that King Shark had loads of trouble with this. How did any of this happen? It's still happening. Yeah. Oh, look. She smiled because she's quirky. There are bombs in our heads. <sighs> what a stupid fucking opening. We are all losers. The shark's right. She played you all. What are you- what? <laughs> you played yourself. <laughs> Shut well, fucking hell. I got you all now because I tricked you all into thinking that you weren't going to be on the team and thus thought to try and inject each other all with the device and that makes it actually so I can control you now. What? What if they had just killed each other? Need a plan to deal with these crazy sons of- Yeah, say that out loud, bud. You're already awake, aren't you? Oh, there's something in my ear! 
Do one of you bastards inject something in my ear? In ear CIC comms. Bet we can hear your bullshit wherever we go now. Yeah, he's so fucking dumb. He thinks that a comm is someone injecting something into his ear. It was a test. A mind game. A retarded one. It geared us up to take on an army. This ride's like the Aussie. It's old and it stinks. Oh, he smells. What is going on? This this is what Waller wanted? This is how she launches the Suicide Squad in a runaway train <laughs> that crashes into the fucking tunnel? Okay. Stupid asshole train! Stupid brain bombs! Stupid deal! You got him, bud. Old school. Guess Miss Off the Books got something to tell us. Or she made us a mixtape. He couldn't feel a knife in his back? What? Why? So, one thing that's bothering me, on top of the numerous things, that no one is really talking about is how little of a fuck Rocksteady cares about their own canon. I'm baffled watching the start of this, because there is a Arkhamverse film called... Assault on Arkham, where Deadshot, King Shark, Harley Quinn, and Boomer all have been through this before. Deadshot, however, was the same as he was in Origins and City, and King Shark had a different design and was killed in that film. This game just pisses all over everything this studio established and expects fans to be 100% okay with it, and say that the piss is actually just a really nice rain. What? <laughs> she just didn't care if they all died, I guess. Split up or piss me off in any way. And I blow and up I your head. The micro bombs you so helpfully implanted in one another's skull. Don't remind me of that fucking scene. We'll speak again. Out. Okay, we gotta do the C4, everybody. I placed my explosive. Why wasn't this just a cutscene? I'm gonna stand here. Three, two. <laughs> oh, a man bat tunnel. Huh. We should keep heading up. I say we put many, many bullets in that junction box to make our way out. This is already riveting. Also, Harley Quinn steals Batman's stuff and then kills him. Yeah, totally not mean spirited by the writers to humiliate yet another character. It's not the first time they've done that. <laughs> so. Batwoman stole Batman's tech and then she killed Kevin Conroy Batman and Batwoman the the show. Well hi there kids. Welcome to the Hall of Justice. We've opened it up just for you today, and there's lots of great things to see and do. Wonder Woman's guarding the inner sanctum. Green Lantern's at the quartermaster area. Or maybe you just want to see Batman's cool bat pod launcher. Why have they used the meme flag? I thought that the, I, I thought the one with the triangles and the circle and everything was the one that people made fun of. Now I know what you're thinking. That big S on my chest can only stand for one thing, right? I could. Well, tell not you quite. Thrilling origin story. Believe it or not, until I got to Earth, this wasn't an S at all. Remember how I told you I? Oh, uh, just I don't know how to prevent it from having dialogue running over each other. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. But I still wear this crest. So I never forget where I came from. It feels like they're making fun of it, because I know what's gonna happen. Typical hero crap. Big ass gold palace to show the world how super they are. But I've made new friends, like the Justice League. There's nothing we wouldn't do for each other. Uh. And alongside them, nothing can stop us in our fight for a better world. Like I said, it just plays like a joke. Justice? Oh, more like bloody whole, whole of... Hall of... Hall of bullshit! <laughs> nice. Got a point, though. Justice for people like them. Not a lot of justice for people like us. Harley Quinn. Not a lot of justice for us. You torture and murder innocent people. Don't touch anything that's gonna set off an alarm. I ain't fighting any super... Ooh, got a real high opinion of yourself, don't you? Professional gun guy. Nah. Just a real low opinion of everyone else.
Oh, I got that. And like the jokes have just been non-stop top tier too. With knowing where this goes, this like intro to the Justice League feels so fucking insincere. Must have stung getting tossed into Arkham, eh? For a pro like you. Sure did. And don't you have a kid? Oh, must be kind of hard to see it. Finish that thought, Boomerang. Go on. It'll be your last one. Look how they're talking to each other, both facing away from each other, but turning awkwardly. Like, why were they just facing each other? And then, by the way, I don't know if you noticed in his intro, but uh, Deadshot's been in the Arkham series already. So, like, they had to, like, argue that he's, uh, that, that was a fake one. The previous Deadshot. Criminals can strike anywhere, anytime. And when they do, I need to be ready. Bat pods are my mobile preparedness units. A little like one of your backpacks. If your backpacks had cutting edge stealth technology. Bat pods contain everything I need, from my bat suit to my bat gadgets. They can be deployed almost anywhere in the world. That means wherever people need help, I'll be there. Yeah, it's Kevin. Despite what Flash may have told you, my cowls aren't just a fancy Halloween mask. They're equipped with augmented vision lenses, so I never miss a clue. And a comm link that lets me talk to my friends in the Justice League. Before I joined the League, I relied on these cowls to keep my identity top secret. Each one is lined with lead, so no one can peek under them. Not even Superman. Yeah, you might even say they're armored. But if, like, a clown lady was to shoot you in the face, you may have some difficulty, but... Oh well. The Batman Museum segment is so cringe. It's just five minutes of look you remember this you know what this is clapper. Hmm. A prideful display of the Justice League's riches. Oh, this is where we steal our weapons from then, yeah. That'll be her drone. Speed Force Gauntlet. Back when Doc Savannah tried to lift Flash's gimmick. Simple as that. <sighs> Miss you red. Oh boy. <laughs> Nothing says international assassin like a frickin' jetpack. <laughs> Well, tickle me stupid. Sharks can fly! Oh, they fly now. Don't worry, I think I can put the hat back on. Can I just do that now? How do I get the hat back? I gotta complete Riddler challenges or purchase in store. <laughs> Fuck off. Do you like how the characters in the cutscene were aware of the fact that they needed to just get things that can get them up there? Like, it wasn't about the fact that this is just amazing weaponry. Also, weird to have all of these breakable glass away from anyone getting them. I feel like it needs addressing that not only did the Justice League put fully functioning weaponry behind seemingly regular glass, but they also somehow worked perfectly despite being behind glass for a considerable amount of time. Also, why was Batman's tech with Condiment King stuff? Was the theme just Batman memorabilia? Either way, I guarantee if they picked up Condiment King's bottles, they'd be full of fresh ketchup and mustard instead of mold and dirt. Ugh, I'm a shark that jumps and talks good. A shark that jumps and talks good. Like, what? why did they... Spend no time on the dialogue. I don't understand. Why would you not want to give it a, you know, a shot? I hate this. I hate this. Don't worry. I'm sure they got fire extinguishers. Is that supposed to be funny that he can't do it? Why is there, no, like, no sound effects either? Why could he just not do it? I think he's just balked. <laughs> Jeez, does Harley chain smoke a pack a day? Why would she subject us to this? Well, because I gotta make sure of what this game has to offer. It's been pretty cool so far. Look, it's Brainiac. Uh, good to get out of that place. He needs Slipknot, the man who can climb anything. Kinda like the look of that skull. Oh, right. Oi, Walla. 
What the hell have you said? Well, the whole point was that he hated the feel of it in that ear. You're the first assets to make it into Metropolis alive. Why? Like, why did, what did we do that was special? The train crash? Was that the reason we're in here without getting killed? What are we, some kind of suicide squad? So this is our place we can play. Wouldn't Brainiac deal with us immediately? Hello? I can't even say hello normally. Don't say that. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? We got plenty to go. That was interesting about momentum there, but sure. Oh boy. Villains. Don't react too fast now. The music is insisting on this being pretty cool. Oh no! Wait, Green Lantern's here? How do we, how do we get out of this? Brainiac's the one finally bringing order to this world, making a home for his people. Come on. Why don't you just mind, mind, wash them, brainwash them, mind control? Looks bad, feels worse. But once you've been enhanced, there's no going back. Outstanding. Great. Such fucking weird opening. You're searching for stragglers. Augmenting Brainiac army. The shark gets it. We shipped out eight million already. Why are you explaining all of this to us? These resistors just don't respect martial law. Flash! Brainiac wondered how you got off the ship. Speedster secret. The League doesn't leave anyone behind. Well, I was fucking lucky. And I guess the Flash hasn't been controlled yet. Lancer would have killed our asses if the Flash didn't show up. Yeah. I need you prepared to bring him in. I'll brief you en route. Isn't that Brainiac right there? Occupied Metropolis. I see you've already stolen traversal equipment. Yeah, lucky I guess that we had access to all of it specifically, I guess. I still don't get this. Like, how is Brainiac not aware? He's a fucking giant brain. Super advanced. I was like, no way we're getting out of that. It's like, oh, the Flash is still around. How didn't Waller know that? And then you're going to let us know how the Flash is going to get defeated, but we're going to be the ones that win the day? I'm going to be honest with you, the Flash would fucking annihilate the four of us put together. I don't really... Do I have to? Like, I don't seem to just get, like, XP or anything. I did it. Brainiac's updating his defenses on the fly. Scanning the buildings for survivors. Nothing gets in or out except through that damn skull ship. I don't know, man. Brainiac doesn't seem to notice we're here yet. Go. This is the kind of game that makes you feel guilty about not giving to charity more. <laughs> That's what way to put it. What has happened to the citizens of Metropolis? They are... sand? Those aren't people. Scientists from the DEO say it's an inorganic residue from a mass energy transfer event. Brainiac's taken 99% of the population. Wow. Now he's clearing house. Huh. Last 1% got a fly coach instead of mass energy transfer? Oh, you think that's a joke? They're being rounded up for conscription. How weird is it? That she's like, why? how dare you disrespect the 1% of people that are going to be turned into demon people? It's like... I mean, are we not, we just don't care about 99% of people that got fucking killed. Like, it's so fucking strange to be like, oh, it's so awful those people are going to get turned into demons. They're not even dead yet, but the 99% sure fucking are. Okay. I guess you gotta have this, the streets filled with something. Oh, these dudes didn't even know what was going on here. So like um, non-stop stimulation of senses. That, that's what the game makes me think about, you know. Yeah, I'll get your fucking slides done. There you go. They're done now. Leave me alone. It's like what I'm gathering is it's mostly just fire until health or shield starts getting low, or you. 
I can't even fucking pause the dialogue. Wait, we were looking for Flash? Why can't I? I can find Flash. Keep talking. I can't open the menu oh, when they're talking. Of... Twenty-eight minutes in. What's most obnoxious about the voice acting, aside from the ceaseless frequency, is that half the heroic cast are characters who have literally loud personalities and voices, so they have to yell everything. Boomerang and Harley Quinn both literally wouldn't sound like themselves if you ask their voice actors to do a solemn, quiet scene. Captain Boomerang, you're on point. Recover the flash. Waller out. Thank you. Hear that? You lot better start calling me Captain Boomerang. Let's go. Gordon's gonna. They don't let you pause. They let you pause cutscenes, but they don't let you pause in game dialogue. Christ. Also, did you guys catch that? I have a. I just have a sensor that I press and it lets me see any enemies in the area. Because God forbid I'd look around, right? Like a shit Ned Kelly. The best villains are the ones with class and respect. Oh god, yeah. I don't mind a goofy villain too, but what we're getting here is not the preference. Wake up, buddy. I just wouldn't have thought the Flash would have any trouble with a giant Green Lantern firing guns at him, you know? Which again, the creativity. Off the charts. Where's Flash? So the, the Flash is wounded so then. the Flash at, genius? You've wasted our time. Oh, ye of little faith. Thing about Flash is, he's a coward. Guy like him sees a guy like me coming. He starts quaking in his boots. Quaking too fast to see. The <laughs> atomic vibration crap doesn't fool me, mate. He saved your life. Green Lantern really gave you the bash, didn't he? I owe him a tinny, even if he is a cop. You can buy Lantern a beer after I put him in the ground. Wow. This is about me and Flash. Get your own moment, why don't you? I love how they're sabotaging and attacking Flash right now for past grudges when the world is ending, and he's the only person that actually helped them in this area. And like, the Flash was so wounded he couldn't escape someone with their foot on him. Nobody's pointed this out. None of them. Oh, thanks, what? lads. The area's hot. Flash wants to stay behind. Hold him off. What the fuck? If he gets captured, I'll kill you myself. You know? I'm Why don't they want to help him? He's like the only thing that'll keep him alive. Wait, what the Flash is being phased away. I don't even know what you mean. Man, the, when the Flash is only defense or a bunch of retards. This looks miserable. The gameplay is really crap. Jeez. It's so weird they chose to do this after the Flash saved them. Like, these people are human, right? Obviously excluding Harley. See this? I spent a lot of time dreaming up how I was gonna kill you with it. Yeah, none of them noticed this. Right now, and you're in for a world of- They actually thought this was funny. He just accidentally casually chopped off his finger. Still using shadows to scare the crap out of us criminals, huh? <laughs> then Batman doesn't kill people. That's the only thing I like so far. At least I can still jump. Ah, sounds of the hunt. He's disabled my double jump somehow. <laughs> I also don't have sprint. Task Force X. What is happening in the 
Look, it's the gel explosion-y things that he had in the other games. Hey, Batman. Wait, what? Uh-oh! King Shark just got King hit! What? Okay, are we about to get captured again and not killed? This is so lame. You, you ain't fucking, you ain't kidding. Time for us to check the emergency exits. Time for us to check the emergency you exits. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm not allowed to go that way. He's up there. Got a seven cents for this stuff. Seven cents. <laughs> oh, you writers, you, you funny, funny writers. Yeah, okay. Oh, he got me. Darn it. Now I'm the dead shot man. Do I have infinite health? Like, do these explosions even matter? Feels like I'm gonna try and open that, and then he's gonna get me. Oh no, he got me. Why would I care if setting those off doesn't do anything? You've lied to me, video game. I am choosing to activate them as much as I can. Oh no, you got me. Green Lantern, I have the Flash. Your four escaped criminals. They led me right to him. Kill her, no, kill her. Not a threat at all. Still, let their corpses strike fear into those who'd resist. What's gonna stop him? Come on. Pull the trigger. You are kidding me. Flash being the goat with that last picosecond save from the gun Batman. If only these criminals had some semblance of the point of every Suicide Squad comic or movie being that the worst of the worst can be redeemed or used. Meanwhile the first two hours of this game, cutscene, the Suicide Squad are useless vapid clay people. He saved their lives twice and they act like children. <laughs> Flash saved them twice. Of course, Brainiac. We're ready for phase. Wait, kill them, kill them. She was right there. You could have killed her. Well, in any case, um, how fucking dumb was that scene, right? You have Brainiac's taken over, the Suicide Squad enter the arena, they trigger Green Lantern, he comes in, essentially beats us instantly. Shut up. And then the Flash counters him and saves us. We awkwardly try to avoid slash kill the Flash. Don't help him. And then Batman comes in and just fucking annihilates us like he should and decides he won't finish us off. He'll only knock us out because he's gonna, he's gonna collect us up for the brainwashing, right? But then he decides, nah, I, I'm just gonna kill at least Harley. But then can't because the Flash knocked away one bullet and then the Batman just fucking wrecks him, right? He's knocked out. And then decides, actually, no, I'm not going to do anything with the four captive criminals that are obviously going to get in the way to the point where they actually nearly lost the Flash. And leaves. None of it makes any fucking sense. Where the only rules were made by the villain ringleaders and their gangs. I know. I was on the ground. And so was Batman. I was going to say, this feels like I remember that level. Batman cleaned out Arkham City. Two-Face, Penguin... Ra's al Ghul, even the Joker, Batman's nemesis died poisoned by his own chemical compound. A tragic irony. Yeah, better times. Uh, Harley's got stage one, smokes a pack a day of voice. <laughs> yeah. Professional killer Deadshot was hired to assassinate several VIP targets, like myself, and Bruce Wayne and Batman. Close calls with death that night. I am not done with this phony steampunk ass looking dude. Yeah, well, there you go. Hola, we're at the exit. Are you gonna spring off? Ah, oh, shit! It's a ghost! Uh, what's she doing now? Trying to give us the brain spasms? Oh my god, shut the fuck up. The lock. Thank you, strange holographic girl. Huh. Follow that green beam. You'll find lanterns set up in some bullshit ass construct castle. You jealous, Deadshot? You sound jealous. 
I just love the idea that, like, the Flash got defeated by him, but don't worry, we're on the case. Also feels weird that Brainiac wouldn't have full, full control over the... this, like, compound, so to speak. There, I mean, there's tech in here. You know? Settle down, mate. This job calls for finesse. Maybe a little... Slide of hair. Oh, are you fucking serious? Oh, oh, touch the bone bit. Oh. This entire time. Be you... cool, be cool. You didn't do that on Here's purpose, on though. Oh, it works with the glove on? What else are we gonna destroy? Aren't these characters jobbers for the heroes typically? Also, why the Suicide Squad? Where are all the other heroes? No idea. Why is this under our control? How has this happened? Why wouldn't Batman have this under his control? No more of the dispensable, but also our best assets, but also dispensable. My brain hurts. Yeah. Activate the threat assessment matrix. What? You tough guys never seen a bat computer? Ugh. This is so well written. Oh god. Explain yourself. I mask my insecurities with drinking bad behavior. Ugh. What have you done with Flash? Pretty much Batman like got him. Yeah, it was Batman. Here's his thumb. It just came off, I swear. God, why can't You're we kill them? Leave and take your criminals with you. She knows who we are. How is this happening? Where's Bradyak and Batman and Greed Lantern? And at this point, where's Flash? Oh yeah, where's Superman? Their minds are not their own. I will find a way to bring them back. We will defeat Brainiac and end this madness. Shut Why does Walla look like Gus Fring and Drek? Task Force X, your new mission is to kill the Justice League. How? How is this happening? Like, none of this makes any fucking sense. What, what's Wonder Woman been doing this whole time? Has she been guarding the halls of justice? And it's like, why wouldn't that have been taken? And then whatever they've got to make the Suicide Squad have any chance against the Justice League, like a power or a gun or whatever, you'd think that they'd want to spend that on people they could trust, not on people like the Suicide Squad. Lots of ins and outs to that rumble you didn't see, Missy. Missy? Nah. I'm not one of your incognito browser searches. What? <laughs> That's a big adrenaline spike on a nice bomb sending out. Incognito Wait, browser searches. The bombs have... And because they're electronic, I can hack into them. That's what I do. I'm hack. She the famous hacker 4chan? Fight and move with style to build up a cool flow state. What? The adrenaline activates your skills. But screw up and whew. You lose a whole chunk of that flow state. Are they trying to contextualize how I will level up based on... Why wouldn't you just give me the full access to all my moves if you want me to defeat the Justice League? How does that make any sense? This is a map of your physiological potential. Uh-huh. Abilities and stuff. I can rewire your neurochemistry. Make improvements. Suit up and get out. How do we beat Green Lantern? Yeah. Right. She doesn't like her own costume? Wait, is it actually because it's too sexy? I was thinking something more fashion forward. Uh, same thing every time. Oh my god. You you need to calm down, game. <laughs> you need to calm the fuck down. When did you dye your hair? Okay. Just setting up the biometric scanner. Wouldn't want any of those aliens slipping in. And I'm still working on the outer door. It's just, it's just stuff. There's just loads of fucking stuff happening all over the place. People talking, things moving. It's just like, ugh, alerts everywhere, notifications for things to do and people to be. It's just like, you know what? Let's just, we'll just carry on. Just picture it. Harley Quinn kills the Justice League. Yep. Oh, sidekick's got something to prove now that the boyfriend's dead. Sidekick? Oh, honey. <laughs> yep, of I'm course. A yes, you are, Holly. Wait, Could you imagine calling her a sidekick? The, the nanite injector she gave us came from there. What? That pigeon? 
Uh -huh. Well, you know, these guns are a bit shit. Head northwest. Oswald Cobblepot. What? <laughs> the penguin's gonna give us weapons to kill. Oswald Cobblepot's been running anti meta weapons for years. I want him recruited and brought back to the Hall of Justice. Again, why is Cobblepot and apparently one of the only people capable of even damaging meta humans free? Why wouldn't Brainiac or Batman or the Flash have dealt with him? God, I feel so random. It's just like, kill the Justice League. You're like, well, we can't. And it's like, okay, get weapons to kill them from the Penguin. Like, what? Why? There was no question of that when we first got here. She was just happy to let Green Lantern... Green Lantern would have captured us and brainwashed us. That would have been it. Just walk into a fucking wall over there. Oh, it's Penguin. Okay. G'day, Pengo. Ain't this a right rogues gallery? Who's <laughs> a big bleeder? This looks just one d door between the world and Penguin. Simple as that. You give my regards to the locals. So we're gonna break in. And despite Penguin having the weaponry to destroy the Justice League, I have a feeling we're gonna be able to deal with him pretty easily. Can I have control? What? Okay. Like she said, you know, she doesn't want you regen in your health because it'll make you hide, but she will if you're out of combat. It's just like, okay. Unfortunately, Penguin's Fortress door is one of those doors we could open. What are you waiting for, you pair of villains? Get them! We didn't even have to do much. Just sort of opened. Okay, Waller. We bag Penguin. Yeah, it was so fucking easy that we barely had to do anything. It's so funny that Penguin has the weapons we need in order to take out the Justice League, and he couldn't take out fucking Captain Boomerang. That makes sense. You can call me Colonel Rick Flag. Rainiacs dropped a bug farm into Midtown. You're gonna stop it. Why do you even need me for the Penguin thing? And why hadn't this happened before? Penguin was just chilling out in some fucking garage. I like how the Penguin is harder to get to, better defended, and requires more effort to subdue in Arkham City, where he is literally in prison, holed up in an old museum armed with nothing but some inmates and Mr. Freeze's gun. Meanwhile, while he is at large in Metropolis, apparently armed with anti-metahuman weapons capable of killing the strongest heroes on the planet, surviving an alien invasion. He personally answers the door because someone knocked and all it takes is to shoot down his choppers and open the door. What the actual fuck game? This is wank piss. It's not even regular piss. I just wanna tell you, don't let yourself get boxed in. You can be whatever you wanna be. Oh, shut up, Holly. Destroy the incubators. Turn on the incubators are hooked up to a network of some kind of power sources. Shoot the hell out. Yeah, it's very video gamey, isn't it? I'll try and read some more messages as we go here, because it's such, like, brainless gameplay. I'm just sort of like, bleh. How does this Borderlands-looking-ass game remotely connect to Arkham Asylum? Because they said it does. It's all, like, so haphazardly put together, the story, I mean. Woo! Yeah. Heavy weapon. Alrighty. God, I hate this. Like, it feels like... <laughs> Impressive. I think I've read about these. Uh-huh. All the, like, statistics and ups and downs and, like, like special aspects. You know, the comparison to Borderlands is very much, like, straightforward. It feels like loot box stuff, yeah. I just don't get why Brainiac and the... Justice League aren't doing anything about this. So yeah, like, you know, we're just gonna be go to place, kill people, go to place, kill people, destroy thing, collect intel. So, well, the whole point here is that any of you that were wondering whether or not you wanted to pick this up can check this out first, however much of this playthrough you want, to decide whether or not you'd like to. Uh, obviously, for me, it's a hyper not recommend so far, but we'll see. Who knows? What sucks is I actually like the concept, but I prefer playing as low-tier JL member like Plastic Man or Booster Gold and not killing the JLA. There are so many versions of this that could be so much better. Like, why doesn't Brainiac care about us? Weird. 
We like the only interesting thing happening in the whole fucking city, really. Like, there's other they random smaller stuff, sure, but let's be honest. Subpar forespoken dialogue, sluggish gameplay, a soundtrack sounds literally soulless, and characters not using their actual powers. After playing a game like 40k Dark Tide, this hurts to watch. Well, yeah, this, this game captures way too much of what I don't like about a lot of modern games that I find uh, some are have trouble escaping that sort of curse, if you will. This looks like the oxygen-starved, born-in-a-Taco-Bell bathroom love child of Fortnite and Borderlands. Please tell me you're not spending my super chats on this. What do you mean? I spend your super chats on, uh, Marvel movies. All kinds of backdoors for jacking this skull ships comes. You like it. They're talking about you. Yeah, why haven't they fucking fucked us up yet? I just don't understand it. So let me get this straight. The game makes it a plot point that both Hack and Riddler remotely hack the squad's nanite bombs. Batman, however, never does. Neither does Brainiac, quite literally the smartest most technologically advanced being in the cosmos. Sure, whatever. I want you to focus on the low priority kill list. Profiles. Deadshot. Harley Quinn. Captain Boomerang. King Shark. Self-centered fools all. Don't expect them to operate as a group. Isolate them. Eliminate them. <laughs> Someone said, surprised you're promoting this trash. Promoting. <sighs> oh, I'm already so tired of this, like... Congratulations, you've unlocked a new box of things. Fuck, that auto aim is... Shocking sometimes. Oh, I think tacky might be the main uh, word. Another one of these. It takes so long, too, you know. This is. This is even better than getting more teeth. If we're gonna crack the shield on death from above up there, I need clean intel without getting shot at. You four have the honor of being shot at instead, while I get the job done. Uh huh. I would like to lead the mission, Colonel Flag. Uh, I have great leadership skills as a demigod, and I can't pause. Thank you. So I was gonna say, like, with all the the menu shit, like going through constant crap, and then I'm like, give me, let me get back to what I'm doing, and then I'm like, well, what I'm doing is mainly just shoot and then right click, shoot, right click. Well, shoot in his right click is just left click as well. But rather, sorry, right click is aim, left click is shoot. Without right click, left click is melee. And it's mainly just back and forth between that until you win. And then loads of stuff, and then like the cringe dialogue. That is the loop. <laughs> Bruce! Bruce, tell me where you are! Watching. Integration with Brainiac is your... I believe this is a window in reality itself. Wow, I, I accidentally... What even is that? Just interrupted the fucking campaign dialogue. Oh Wait, is that it? The music stopped. Is this one easy? This is the hardest difficulty. I mean, guys, we're just gonna... We're just gonna work through the campaign, okay? Because I don't know what the fuck's going on in this game. We gotta jam the skull ship, alright? For some reason, it's us that's doing it. Not someone like Wonder Woman or The Flash. Where we will be what? What? So it's gonna selectively be very interested in us, then. Like, just send Batman. There's just stuff everywhere, man. I am on a tear! Tearing their flesh! Keep them coming, TFX. Turn on the can needs more charge. A fine kill between us, Boomerang. TFX, I'm ending recon. Successful exfiltration. That means the party. No, sorry, your dialogue got interrupted by the "you did it" screen of Shock going, "Woo!" Got some more mission rewards, baby. Yeah, yeah. Nobody likes an overachiever. Nobody likes an overachiever. Waller, Nigma's hacked our bombs. That seems bad. Low on my list of priorities, Lawton. 
We have actionable intel out of Cobblepot. Prototype grenades hidden in the Justice Day stage at the stadium. Retrieve those grenades, Task Force X. Do you love how flipping from you guys the most important thing I got going, you're gonna I'm gonna need you for everything. All the way over to I couldn't give less of a fuck if you die right now. It's like uh, uh skills, they're like preset for I, I would have thought they would let me spend them all in one area or not, but okay. Uh what about this one? Every ten combo increases melee damage by ten oh, yeah, sure. And then this Melee hit calls enemies to deal 50% less damage for 15 seconds. Melee damage by 200% against enemies with less than 50% health. Yeah, sure. No. Okay. God damn. The bomb will be in there, right? Lock me up. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill you. Wow, crazy. That'd be one to one. You shouldn't be here. Yeah, we, we were sent you. here, weren't we? I won't be around to save you again. Where else are you gonna go, princess? All the fun is right here. I would bring you to Okay. Hobbs You've unlocked something else. Should I go with this sweet next to escape? Never a true word spoken. So you're up and play DC's Fortnite clone. Mm hmm. One of the things I hate most about modern games is the menu slash gameplay UI. It feels like I'm having a damn stroke. I want Battlefront 2004, 2005 UI back. Older game UIs, man, they were so much more like the, the goal of translating information to you, having as little trans information needed to translate, and then trying to stylize it in a way that's unifying. God, I miss it. So this was just a grenade store. Even though, is that not like a timer in there? A clock? To, it's all gonna blow up? Propane tanks? Why was Wonder Woman just, just, she just happened to be here. She just killed a Grablin Goblin Man or, or whatever he was. Okay. What? Diana! Come on out! Why isn't he just putting the rings around us? <laughs> I was wondering if I'd see you four again. Here I am, looking for an Amazonian princess, and all I find is America's least wanted. Wonder Woman's a personal friend. You'll get to her over our dead bodies. I love how it's so fucking casual, right? Like, like, we just, this could be the end because of what Green Lantern can do. And like, it's just, everyone's just sort of doing their default standing and we're just like, you won't get us. No, you won't. Don't you dare give in to this asshole, You see what I mean? Morton? <laughs> this ain't the fight, mate. Well, I'm still on mission. But I feel bad leaving you without something. Why don't you just oh, capture us? I know you're worried about your kid. Zoe, right? What else you got, you dog? Yeah, got him. Coming back. Oh, shit. That was dead shot. That was... Oh. Shock. God, they're just so funny. Yeah, it's just like all the enemies have to be retarded in order for the game to work. Who'd have thought? We were just waylaid by Green Lantern. Again? And you're still alive? Yeah, how about that? I'm guessing you get kryptonite bullets later. Probably. Got some shiny new ordnance for you, TFX. Woohoo! More stuff. Pull this rescue off. You'll need this shrink tech we requisitioned from the Hall of Justice. Miniaturizes and protects. Like sealing folks in a kid's toy. Oh. We're gonna use it to hot potato my people back to the bus. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> We're gonna shrink civilians to get them out. Why not? Are fucking. Low in this area after a vehicle you guys were annoyed I wasn't playing Pal World? Well, I am now. Stop them from getting to that bus. Why isn't Batman doing Look it himself? Squad. Bro, do you fucking... There's so much light on my screen. Oh, 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 flagship. We got him, guys. We grabbed the grunts. Woo. 
Button mash OP. I mean, I'm on the hottest difficulty. What else do you want from me? Hey, Batman. I was born Bruce Wayne, citizen of Gotham. Next mission. Green Lantern's the only thing between us and that skull ship. But you're nowhere near ready to face him. That's why your support squad will be working double time to get you four kitted out. We're even skipping the safety regs. First up, Hack's waiting for you in the city with some intel and upgrades. TFX. If you want me to kill Green Lantern, just give me the upgrades. Why do we keep doing it like slow motion as though it's a game? God, like the integration of the story with the mechanics has been so cringy. You see, we, we're, we're gonna give you this, this and Penguin's just here now, thanks to us, I guess, because we opened a door. Ammo. Another game to rival Gollum and Kong, your favorite? I mean, this one's way more competent than those two, obviously, but it's like, still a bit miserable. Can you find us more of these little, um, Lutonauts? <laughs> That's the absolute worst name I've ever heard. Teehee. Argos Com's channel renamed to Rick and the Lutonauts. I'll track them. Count on me. Oh, man, the pace of this dialogue, <laughs> you know? Da -da -da! Who wants to have a car for their next job? Now when you're out on a mission, I can airdrop one of these sweet rides in to support you. Go on, take it for a spin to your big fight. Okay. Your time will come, shielded again. Your bombs are set for you. Yeah. I gave you your last chance in Arkham. No more. Get me better materials, I'll make you better gear. Gonna have to fight for them, so don't get... Ugh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Okay. You got him his magic beans or whatever. That's way to put it. Roar! Uh, imagine it was XCOM like you could have. We got crafting unlocked now. Let's do it. Don't screw it up. Uh oh, so now you all want in on my Green Lantern killing action? No. The queue for our subterfuge at LexCorp. Subterfuge? Just say cut and run, shark. Nah, fuck you guys. You don't deserve to escape. But we'll just uh, drag the map over here to. Where was Green Lantern? There. Green Lantern's ability seem formidable. Well beyond ours. I don't fear a glorious death. No, don't be afraid, because we got what exactly? A car that explodes pretty easily and a grenade. Now we can take him out. Now we can do what the Flash couldn't. Could have had 20 genuine D-list villains and anti-heroes to pick. There's so many versions, so many approaches could make a premise like this one. And I used to think you were cool. They do say never meet your villains. Oh, 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 Superman dying to a shark. Well, we don't know exactly how that's gonna go down just yet. Ragnarok got away from Sweet Baby Inc. in unscathed, but I fear for the next Keen or Never Knows Best video defending this game's devs also played Jedi Fallen Order and Survivor. I might get around to it at some point. I know you guys want to see me. Instead of DC villains being directed by Homeland Security, they should make a story of Joker finally daring to take on the IRS. Oh, what a legendary story that could be. Wait, what? Our bullets do nothing. Make haste away from here. Oh, are we too early to come here? You're clear to go after Green Lantern. Let's do it. Don't screw it up. When she said you could come here, I figured we could. Mission, didn't I select the Yeah. No. We're ill equipped and outmatched oh. for this fight. Okay. You're clear to go after Green Lantern. Let's do it. Don't screw it up. No. We're ill equipped and outmatched oh. for this fight. Okay. Also, is our plan not to gain entry to Lex Corp? Uh, this is foolhardy. You are all foolhardy. We should go to Lex Corp and find someone. Yeah. Okay. Well, you could have just told me to do that then. You know. We'll just uh, do the Lex Corp mission. Yeah. This, this game is chugging my PC a little bit. I've noticed that as well. Quite a surprise, considering my PC is not exactly a small boy. See that FPS counter? Not looking good. Find 
the last Why is there so guy. much visual clutter? I know. Absolute fucking noise. She's questioning about the shark when she knows there's a croc in Arkham. Thanks for not remembering, developers. There's a couple of things they're a little confused on, I think. White to black because of Will Smith, lol. Is that it? That's not, like, that, that doesn't surprise me, I guess. Nothing more immersive than large damage numbers appearing on enemies as you shoot them. Yeah, we gotta do the descent thing. I will crack the there you go, it's done. You can fuck off now. This doesn't feel like this connect with the Batman game, don't you think? No, not at all. This feels like a complete fucking stapling. But they, uh... I guess they want to make it more cool, right? To be like, that's the Arkham guy. Yeah. Clearly. You took long enough. Is it safe outside? Can you get me out? I'll open the doors. I guess he didn't need to hear anything from oh, us. Oh, thank God. Wait. Which superheroes did you say you were again? Oh, Can the annoying say? Aussie is now shattered. We just want the Damn. nanite bombs you made for Waller out of our heads. Now! That's all you want? <laughs> Get us a grenade so we can take our Green Lantern. Late, but how cringe is this game so far? Pretty heavy cringe. Pretty heavy. This the process should be relatively painless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give me access to Luther's files now. And I might not shoot your other leg. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Oh, hey, Lex. So, she wanted to get in here, but she couldn't because the guy behind the door wouldn't open it unless he thought heroes were on the way. And he just didn't clarify anything with the fucking Suicide Squad, of which all of them sound like clowns. So he never would have opened them normally because this is all like a plan from Waller, seemingly. Like, this is what she wanted. The the Suicide Squad technically got her access to this area where she couldn't herself. I don't know what the fuck's going on. You're dismissed. What? Delete and purge 20 all years data. I worked for you, Lex. <laughs> that was so awkward. Wow, that's a really effective deleting. That's it. What? You might want to have engaged her immediately. Damn, Lex getting out smarted, huh? Shut up. You counted on them going rogue. Why wouldn't you just have them go there? That doesn't make any sense. It's not like they wouldn't have gone there anyway if you told them that they'll free them from their fucking. This is so stupid. All humans do is manipulate. Shut up. In my home, father would never. I'm your daddy now, Shark. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm your daddy now. That goes for all of you. I'm your daddy. Oh, they said it twice. Oh, those bombs ain't coming out. <laughs> oh no, you shot the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> wow, if <laughs> the three bullets and the whole fucking thing fell apart. I love how she, she could just take control of this place, but no, just to destroy the technology in it. When, if you remember, are we like a little obsessed with getting the access to the information here? Use the equipment for your benefit? Is Waller retarded? Let's fucking shoot yourself. What are you doing? It's a chair. I'm your daddy now. So funny. Poison Ivy. Dead poison Ivy after Scarecrow gave Gotham a crop dusting. She's alive. Bring her to me for questioning. So we just had no leads, nothing to go on, and then it's like, well, Poison Ivy's alive. I guess we'll do that. <laughs> it's like, okay. These corrupted former humans are the rank and file of the invading army. 
Transformed by bioengineered weapons. I don't understand. Like, so Metropolis has been essentially taken, but also not the Flash, not Wonder Woman, not Lex Luthor, not Penguin. All of them have technology weapons and research that are going to help to take down Brainiac, and none of them care about each other's existence in the sense that they haven't worked together at all. And then it's like, yeah, we'll throw out the Suicide Squad. That'll do it. It's like, oh, it's so fucking stupid. All right, then. Let's go find Poison Ivy. Just modded your comms. If Ivy's in the city, this tracker will lead you to her. Yep, that's what we do. We track. Are the jokes on the Australian guy just going to be, ha ha, he's from Australia? Good stuff. No, 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 no. It's not just that he's Australian, it's also that he smells of piss. Don't summarize it as though it's silly. He does smell of piss as well. But you know, don't don't miss out on that. <laughs> she is not made of meat. Is this what you call a vegetarian option? I don't know you, uh -huh. but Pheromones remember you. Oh, strange emotions. Tell me about it. Wasn't expecting you to come in fun size. You really don't know me? Harley and Ivy forever? Clearly a fucking child. No. Where's Lex now? I don't know. Something spooked him, I guess. He got in his big robot suit and stomped off. Waller. Be advised Lex is AWOL in a power suit, and Ivy's an eco-terrorist middle schooler. Could you not tell that from the fucking video of him in a fucking power suit? You could- you, you, that, that was news to you? Also, yeah, just in case you need it, there's plenty of emojis you can use with, with, with the channel. Specifically the- the- the policeman Mola emoji. <laughs> You'll be fine with that one. Dead. A lot of police in chat. You got little command posts to defend, man. It's, uh... Oh boy. God, the music's so insistent. It hits. Why is she a kid? Oh, I just want to smush those little green cheeks. Quinn. Keep Holly away from it, please. But injecting a little girl with a brain bomb, that seemed like a lot to anyone else. And not any little girl, my little girl. Oh, that came out weird. She is no mere child, <sighs> but she should grow free. I guess a lot of people say she died, that's why she's a kid. It's like, please think about what you just said. <laughs> like... The writers chose to make her a kid. Why? Okay, time to die. I'm tired of being around humans. And Daphne's hungry. Oh, I did it, okay? Oh, I put Is the he supposed to be glowing? Ages ago. What? what? Oh, I thought you'd thank me. I didn't trust her. She's a ranger. <laughs> Didn't he technically just save them with that? I like they have the moral outrage with what he did to to Ivy, but that they what they did to Flash, you know, like Please, it, it, that makes any fucking sense. Mission rewards. You could say I'm nerding out. Shut up, man. Batman is watching us. You're yeah. Sharks in his aquarium. Batman should have fucking killed you by now. We are going to hijack the last network terminal Luthor accessed and get that code. Then we'll find him. Sure. You can out hack Lex, of course. I love how this whole time we've been doing all this bullshit right, like underneath Brainiac, and he's just sort of like, eh. Oh no, they're capturing our flag. You see how this game is built for multiplayer? A quite boring and dull multiplayer. What are my rewards, game? Task Force X. We just regained contact with a unit that tried to apprehend Ivy before you did. She released a bioweapon. It was an accident! An oopsie! Uh huh. You froze some of my men solid. The invaders can freeze and burn and electrocute and all sorts of things. Don't you want 
<laughs> He's still glowing. Those four and whoever they're working with are attempting to organize a resistance. It'll fall apart. On our world, these criminal collaborations always do. Man, why don't you just beat them up now? Why are you letting them run around destroying everything? Well, North Batman would have killed them long ago. They showed that, and then he just didn't. It was dumb as fuck. Yeah, live action Kevin Conroy was killed by Ruby Rose's Batman, Batwoman, and then well, we know what happens to him in this. Not quite there yet, though. People are comparing what happens to Batman in this to what happens to Joel. It's uh, almost impossible not to. What are, what are these weird compartments they're hiding in, too? Precise. A little boring. Oh, you fucking said it, King Shark. Why is Captain Boomerang still still glowing? I, I I got nothing for you, okay? He's got a glow. He needs it. Someone's taking out your patrols and installations, Bruce. Luther's weapons. Or Wonder Woman. I also can't discount the gang of miscreants. Though damage at this scale indicates ability and competence those four don't have. It's so funny because it's just like, what is Batman doing? He's like commenting on everything we do, but he doesn't want to get involved. Shove so many helicopters just to like delay you. Whatever Joker was doing during Arkham City. The thing is though, Batman's really hard to find. You, you pretend like Joker's just gonna fucking use his jetpack to get and kill Batman. You know what I mean? Like it's completely different. Try and show you later. What's got her on this? He's still glowing. Oh yeah, okay. We can find Lex now. Where are you going, Freakish Four? Hack's got her Lex Luthor tracker working. Go see her. Yeah, they already told me that, you fuck! You just have to follow the dots to the bald billionaire. Why did you need to mention he's bald? Oh, and before you head out. Shark, you and the team get out there and find Luthor. Motherfucker! Be a treatment for you. <laughs> you just told me to do it. Flat. I got a question. Are we ever gonna get to use our new ice shit? Are we ever gonna get to use our new ice shit? You think it's in bad taste? They probably display tri transplied flags in a game called The Suicide Squad. There's a lot of weird choices to make in regards to that. Like, it just feels like... Is this the game for that at all? With these characters as well? It's like the thing we were talking about in Real BBC where it's like, don't worry, Chucky is pro-trans. It's like, what? Not much in terms of mission variety, is there? Robocop Rogue City was so refreshing because it was clear the devs loved the IP. A bare minimum for the project should not be hunting, hating the IP. Probably wouldn't pass the test. Rogue City felt like a Robocop game. This feels like a different game. Not at all meant for this IP. But I mean, to be honest with you, I'm tired of this approach to any game, not just this. I find this shit, like, excruciatingly lame. But I guess it's popular, I don't know. Or maybe it isn't. I have no idea how well this game is doing, but, um... Obviously, I'm sure you guys have seen enough to know whether or not you would ever give something like this your, uh, your time. Hello, swag. Shark, hold up! It's a... Yep. Harley, do not touch us. But you saying I can't really makes me want to, you know? <laughs> no! Harley, no! no! Worth it! Yeah, imagine they did that the other way around, huh? My. I could use an army of you. He's pretty underwhelming when you get to know him. Why can they talk? Things no clue. Up. Why can they use their mouth so well, but they can't move any part of their body, like, at all? That in common? Tell Waller... to stay out of my way. My plan to neutralize the Justice League starts... now. Is he on our I'm team, then? To enjoy this. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit. The Flash is it's back. It's evil Flash. Good guy Flash or bad guy Flash? Like you give a fuck. Oh, 
definitely bad. We know you're getting help, Lex. So tell me about your secret pal. Spare yourself some broken bones. Well, what, Flash, when you ran past into him, did you not spot the four fuckers that have been getting in the way? Why does nobody want to just defeat them? The Flash could have killed them all in a split second. Anyway, what I was trying to say uh. was... He's got all of his fingers. Oh, you know what? Hold on a sec. Oh, just kill Hello, him. Hello, Brainiac. You want Luther? All you have to do is come and get him. Just kill him. Music is so underwhelming. The scene is underwhelming. Why are they still alive? Really? In the big box with Luther on it. Flash is alive, and he's playing for Team Brainiac. And don't forget the great big gun. And he has Luther. One damn thing at a time. That artillery is gonna be- I, I like she said one damn thing, they're all just like waiting for us just- Well, yeah, but I mean, what do you want us to do? Like, and, and of course, there's nothing they can do. But ultimately, they'll be allowed to do all kinds of things, because they gotta do all kinds of things, otherwise the story will be over. If there's a snowball's chance in hell you can destroy it, I expect you to. No, there isn't, because the Flash would kill us, easily. Yeah, we're the snowball. Nice glow you got there, bud. Either Captain Boomerang got his fingers wrong, or Flash grew a thumb. Either way, it's stupid. Pretty much. We're just gonna destroy this, and for some reason, we're not gonna be stopped doing it. Oh look, the Flash is gonna fail to kill us. How exciting. I'm not seeing any damn witnesses on that gun. What the hell do we do? According to Hack's analysis, that thing is stuffed full of terminots. Hack? They all react to the nanotechnology from Mother Terminals. <laughs> We're just sitting here speculating on how to take down this turret while the Flash is actually here and he's just not. He just doesn't care. <laughs> Where's your castle, King Shark? Oh, wait, the name's ironic? Ooh, sad joke, bro. Okay, you thought it was funny. The gun won. <laughs> Gollum won the argument. There's just so much noise, you know? So many numbers! Like Nostalgia Critic wrote the game, they wanted us to use every joke they thought of. They didn't cut a single one. My eyes. So sorry, yeah, no shit. We got like area of effects, Is the missiles proud? flying everywhere, and then <laughs> That's right. you don't a lot of stuff that if you don't take care of it sooner rather than later, it'll do more damage than. Uh... Survive the gun, get a prize. Wait, a consolation prize, that is. Lex is a. He's an older model. The gun won. Outside the this is not the right way. Find something big. I mean, yeah, Survive the gun, get a prize! A consolation prize, that is. Lex is a... He's an older model. You guys have no idea what you're doing. Inexcusable. Huh. I wonder... Which of you will die first? Well, you gotta try to kill us first, Flash. Thank you, camera. Holy brain damage, the dialogue, the music, holy shit. Yep, it's, uh... Your pain. This is a game for overstimulated zoomers who have no attachment to the characters and were raised on shrill equals funny. It does feel that way, like the constant stimulation, you know? Terminat remains. Gather what Look you out. can. Safety in numbers doesn't apply to you. 
Oh, there's just so much stuff. Dude. All I wanted to do was get out. God, so cringeworthy. Like, I was like, I'll get in, do my grab attack, and get out. And then it was just like, no. People are supposed to like doing this for days, weeks, years, because the game clear loop hasn't changed. Yeah, I guess, and there are people who like this, I think. I can't promise. Um, is the Flash just missing a finger forever now? Apparently not. I guess it regened. Garbage everywhere. What do we got here? Eight? My fucking god. Nine. Need one more. Fucking shite mission. Where was the flash, by the way? What was the flash doing? Yeah, he really was in here. Why? Why haven't they mind-controlled him? He'd be a pretty fucking useful ally for them. Well, hey there, sleepyhead. We've got an interrogation to get back to. What has he been doing? Oh, think I'm just gonna let you walk away? You already let them destroy I the turret for no reason, man. Though so he didn't use this before when he was crawling around, but he used it now. Remember? I'm guessing this will disable the flash. But I can. Why didn't you use that before, bro? Holy shit! Get him! Do you like how this is just. I have an anti flash tech. There you go. <laughs> They're like all missing him or some shit. <laughs> he's not even moving, he's just dead then. It's about to blow up, isn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Would you look at that? Why can't you do this to all of them now? Please. I'm begging you. Also, you guys notice the heart is pumping while it's paused? That's strange, but... Alright. Please, Flash. Please either kill them all, or prevent them from fucking you over with that little device. Okay? Having Luther there in the first Flash fight scene to show exactly what happens if you don't have plot armor was so pitiful to look at. Flash pulled Luther out of his metal suit and pulled Luther's heart out of his meat suit in a matter of seconds. It's Jova. The Suicide Squad dies there and then. What did you think would happen? You'd crawl out of your cells, swoop in, save the day? It'd be funny if that activated. Pathetic. Don't throw it away, someone will fucking fix it. <laughs> Pathetic! At least I'm not a big hero turned stooge for a spaceman! <laughs> I mean, he's brainwashed. Okay, Boomerang. You wanna see what a real hero can do? I'll show you. How are we gonna survive this? Why hasn't he taken our hearts yet? I don't know how she did that. Surely she's not as fast as him. Wonder Woman? Bro, where is Superman? Where is Batman? Where is Brainiac? Where is Green Lantern? Is this not the most important thing that's happening right now? They're all just mysteriously disappeared. That would have killed him. Yeah, if she takes a fucking punch to him at that speed that flips him out of his whole thing, it's like, yeah, he's fucking dead. 
but why wouldn't he have seen her before she could do it? That's what the, 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 they commented on it earlier, right? Not even a sniper shot can get to him. It's like you may as well mail him the bullet. That's the, the joke, the meme. Wonder Woman's fast, but she's not the Flash. And it's funny as well because they've written, written in that fucking tech, which is less cringeworthy than that, but whatever. <laughs> you, what? you can't resist, right? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. Why? Barry. Barry. Probably should have just done that to begin with, bro. How about a team up? I'm a warrior for peace. I swore an oath to never strike anyone in anger. You four are seriously testing my resolve. I'm not entirely sure. This ain't so bad. Why would Wonder Woman have an issue with them right now compared to before? All we've done is prevent a giant turret from launching all kinds of shit under the place, and then we fought the Flash. We tried to save Lex. You know what I mean? Like, why is she angry at us exactly? in the dark, right? Hang in there. If you are who I think you are. Why is Lois fucking lame here? I hope you don't make me regret this. Oh, it's award-winning journalist Lois Lane. Now what the fuck's going on? She's a famous DC character. Why wouldn't she be here? There's a balcony exit in Perry's office. Good luck. Why did any of this happen? What the fuck is going on? Remember how 99% of Metropolis was killed? Have any of the characters acted like that at all? You got get your asses back to base and maybe live out your days in solitary privileges. You don't even know what happened, you dumb fuck. In fact, the funny thing is, Wonder Woman is the one that got in the way the most. Stand down until I decide to put you back in the field, Flash. Bruce, can you just kill all these people? Please? The Flash is alive. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't terminate this program and you are alive. Terminate? Whatever, man. Like, what? what why, why did she just... Oh, you, you guys should have killed the Flash. <laughs> you fucking losers should have... Killed the and we almost did because Lex just had a device. I, uh... It's like he's possessed. Possessed, brainwashed. I don't care. When I give an order, I expect. Warning: Intruder detected at main entrance. Get him. Hockey sticks! It worked! I fixed it! I am a genius! Even here. I actually salvaged this anti-speed force tech. Anti-speed. I was working on something just like it to get the Flash's autograph. I'm a huge fan, you know. <laughs> Hi. I've been trying on the name Toy Man. <laughs> More like Annoy Man. Am I right? Oh! Pow! <laughs> Pay back, you little shit. Shit. Uh, whoa. What's this? Initiation? Yeah, kid. Initiation. Huge congrats. Awesome. Aw, he's so <laughs> sweet. He's not gonna make it. That thing in your hand. I want you to make more. Four of them. We're gonna ki Capture the Flash. Oh wow, that was definitely not at all easy to figure out what he was saying. The game is just so well written because we're like encountering the Flash more and it's like, man, we gotta beat the Flash. And then Lex is like, don't worry, I have anti-Flash device. And then they use it and then they just shoot at him and it doesn't do anything for some reason. And then he kills Lex and blows up the, the device. And then some guy appears Right when we've established that there's no fucking way we can kill the Flash. And he's like, I have a device that I can make that can definitely uh, disable the Flash. I'm like, oh wow, that's great. Let's do that. Surprising that the tech guy doesn't care at all what's just been injected into his head as well, by the way. I don't know if this was mentioned, but I find it funny that with the mechanic kid, there was no issues with having put a bomb in his head, but with Ivy they spent time in establishing that putting a literal bomb in a child's head was bad. Like that's totally not a contradiction at all or anything. If you think I'm going to 
give up on Lantern, Flash, Cal L, or you. Maybe you're not as smart as I thought. Uh, your choice is simple, Diana. Join us or die. Oh, did you didn't reply to that? Oh, I guess we bumped into an action scene. The I mask my insecurities line is as cringe as we're a group of reactionary terrorists from Justice League. No one can write for the lasso. No. I think everyone who goes to write for the lasso thinks, like, isn't it so funny because they're going to say not just the truth. It won't just be the truth, and it won't be their vision of the truth. It'll be what I think is funny and dumb about the character, but also their, you know, flaw. They always fucking do it. I don't know what it is. They they just don't seem to have any, like, tact. But then again, there's no tact in anything they've done, so... Nothing to worry about. Just in the middle of a speed force shit storm with a toy What, what the fuck? <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> Why was Flash not working with her? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I knew this day would come, which is why I prepared a bunch of non-superpowered people. Yeah, none of it makes sense. None of it's been, like, written out in any kind of coherent way at all. Never, they just didn't try. Okay, but where is Kitana? I hear his sword do stuff. It would be nice. If we could at least get a reference, the Raising legendary the Katana. The now we gotta do round two. Wonder Woman tells him to leave and just walks off not making them leave so they can just chill in the Hall of Justice. Also, of course, Wonder Woman is the only good one left. Well, Flash was, but then Flash got fucking screwed over by saving... Honestly, it's kind of fucking nuts. They don't care either. They don't even care to try and save him, they just hate him. Up high, putting him down low. Oh, whatever, man. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Counter the Flash to keep the decoupler charged. With a charged decoupler, shoot the Flash to damage him. Loomis Land. Huh. That's not the worst idea. To Always wanted to do a hit in an amusement park. What is that? I don't what? care where you Why? Do Just do it right. If you need to boost your arsenal first, there are plenty of Argus missions on your map. Waller out. Well, that's the thing. I have no idea if we have what we need to kill the Flash or not. Greetings, oh, God. Presenting the one, the only, Captain Shut up, yeah. Laura. I'm smiling. <laughs> You're right. Terrify the bastard. Perfect. Like, you can be funny. You can write it so that something could happen that's interesting. They just keep refusing. They're, like, angry at the concept. Batman usually has backup plans for every member of the Justice League if they go bad. I guess the Suicide Squad will find them. That would make sense, though, so they probably won't. Yeah, I was gonna say, no, that's not the plan. <laughs> but that would have made more sense. No Slipknot? You know he can climb anything. Nope. Hey, Metropolis! Do you like live executions? Well, don't touch that dial! <laughs> you're not gonna do it. You're gonna, you're gonna fail for no reason. Or I'll break your fingers. Could've killed him by now already. <laughs> How do you like that, Barry? What bothers me is, like, when the Flash shows up and is fast enough to ram the phone into Boomerang's face to fuck him up, he would have seen these devices and been like, what the hell is this? And he would have been like, he would have assessed everything because he's so fast. But fuck it, no, he's just a goober. <laughs> Did you see that? It's so ham-fisted. Brainiac is controlling them, but they still act within character. I'd get that would explain some of Flash's cockiness, toying with them. But if he has the intent to kill, he wouldn't have kept going. It makes no sense that they're sapping his speed force energy, and he fights by doing one of the more taxing uses of his power, multiple tornadoes. It would take no effort for him to kill them, but that requires more work to outsmart, and in a way that would work within gameplay. It's not not just rotten to the core, 
It's rotten from the start. It's only going to get worse. He's still so fast he can kill all of them instantly? Absolutely, yeah. There's, there's, none of this is working, like, in terms of he would just destroy them. One charge decoupler, and many reasons to strike the flash. Literally just says shoot the flash as though it makes any sense, you know? Okay, a few surprises, but I've got some of my own. You could just kill him. You need a new bed, Flash. Ugh. As you can tell, it's just really boring. Wow! Wow, guys! You duct taped Lex's anti speed force to Hickey back together? Oh, you've all got one! Oh, ho, ho. Who hooked you up? First to fess up dies last. I did want to grab you one at a time and run fast enough to burn the skin off your bones. Friction, you know? Ouchie! But I don't need to touch you to tear you apart. So let's play. Like, do you actually have to wait for him to get out of this mode before you can use the the counter on him? So you just have to listen to this shit at the beginning of every time you want to fight him. Like, thanks, game. I wanted to carry you all so fast that your skin burns off your body. Friction. Ouchie. The zoomerisms of this dialogue is making me want to go deaf. I'll take 90s kids. Radical. Dude, speak any day over this current Cali Valley zoomer speak. <laughs> Poor Moobs looking for a story and always online looter shooter. Uh, I mean, there is a story, it's just really badly done. If the heroes are controlled by Brainiac, why would they have conversations that can be intercepted? Brainiac can just talk to himself. Yep, true. It's like they are just themselves but evil, as opposed to brainwashed and controlled by Brainiac. Which would be very different. Uh, better to avoid speed yeah, I know! Yay, more stuff everywhere! That was a bit cringe there, game. Can you recharge the speed force decoupler? Sorry if this is annoying. Oh, it is. I'll kill you guys in a sec. Yep. Get it together. Down. Oh. We did it, guys. That was fucking close and painful and awful, but was, we did it. As honorable warriors. We will show proper respect to this fallen hero. Bye. Show a little class, man. That... Holy shit. Congratulations. Made sense. The gods have cursed you in every other way. Guess you got what you wanted, Boomer. Too bad no one saw it. Yeah, well, I saw it, all right. Look, I'm not gonna make a big deal of it. Oh, thanks. We really appreciate it. But I've prepared a speech. It's pretty weird to, like, not only do the whole pissing on the Flash's corpse thing, but to also recognize that it's fucking retarded to put that in your game. But then to also have them stop because they're so shocked by how big his cock is. What the fuck? They really think they're funny with this one, huh? Can't imagine why people don't like it. This game, making Captain Boomerang pissing on the Flash's corpse. The fans hate it. This game, surprised Pikachu's face. It's necessarily long. Take a seat, Sharky. I know you love the dramatic stuff. I really do. To my massive and disappointingly male fan base. Ugh. Yeah, it's that it's that shit edgy, you know. You need another lesson, Gambit. I want to learn how far I can shove this foot up your glowing green ass. Ho ho ho! What the fuck? 
fuck's happening? So to escape Green Lantern, they jumped into what looked to be like Brainiac's beam. Like, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't Brainiac and? Trackers for Lex Luthor. Anyone got a better idea than following a dead guy's heartbeat? I do not. Maybe like look around. Sure. Let's find dead Lex in dead Metropolis. Ha! What could go wrong? I love how just nothing. There's just no thrust. Nobody knows what the fuck's going on. Clearly the fucking devs don't either. We just arrive here and we're like, well, I don't know. Fuck it. Nobody like behaves at all as the events are actually happening too. None of this shit has an effect on him. If I died and had to spend the next however long with you, I'd end myself again. <sighs> you know, if I if I died and, and I had to talk to you, that that's like worse than being dead. <laughs> Stop punishing yourself with this game. Well, I mean, we're halfway through, I think. There are so many shots of the squad just gawking with their mouths open, staring at what's happening. The cringe is incredibly strong. Yeah, the the bit with the Green Lantern particularly was like terrible. You're on hard? Yeah, I'm on hard. That's not like, if I put it on easy, yeah, we could coast through it, but I'm trying to see how the game works. And you've seen it as well as I have. Because man, it is, uh, it is cringeworthy. Loads of it. The writing's horrific. And the gameplay is, like, some of the most pathetic and dry sort of shit, where it just feels all the same. None of it feels interesting or, um, thematically relevant either. Like, stylistically, with, with how we defeat all of the individual characters in this just seems like the game is like I don't know you just do fuck you like what what were we doing the flash goes to throw an energy ball at me and I need to fire my counter shot from my gun in order to charge my anti-flashness which then allows me to shoot him they didn't even contextualize it well like if if the flash was impossible to shoot like um you you'd run away from it and then we have to detonate an AoE from the little hand device and that f slows him down for 30 seconds, and in that 30 seconds, he's much easier to shoot. That would have made way more sense. What the fuck were we doing in that fight? You know what I mean? It's funny because Heimdall, I think someone said the voice of Heimdall is the voice of, uh, the Flash. And it's like, remember the Heimdall fight? Where he could predict everything he could do, but he couldn't predict when you were going to detonate the spearheads. Which is a very specific and strange thing to try and predict, and they're on the floor, around him. And that gave you openings. That made, m that made way more sense. You know what I mean? You have to confuse him with terrible game design. Muller, after playing this, do you have any hope for modern entertainment? Yeah, we still get some games that come out that are bangers, right? And some, some films that are bangers. It's just unfortunate that stuff like this still gets made. Or rather, not still gets made, does get made. A real post-apocalyptic Albuquerque. You know what I mean. It's quiet. One of the things ever quiet for folks like us. Yeah, you never know, shut the fuck up. That's why I keep having to hit pause so I can talk instead of them. Do they ever shut up? I, I, I'm not even kidding. That was the next super chat I, I was reading there. Um, no, they don't. Have we talked about the bamboozlement of beloved voice actors character one in this already? I don't want to be the spoiler monkey said travesty. We've been, we've seen what they've done to Flash, which was especially weird from a story perspective because they, the Flash saves them at the beginning of the game. And then he saves Harley specifically, sacrificing himself somewhat. Like, he basically gave up his autonomy uh, to prevent the bullet from hitting her. And, like, the Suicide Squad, the best they can do is have King Shark mention it, and then uh, uh, Boomerang starts to piss on him. Absolutely fascinatingly pathetic and just distasteful. <laughs> I feel like there should be a stronger word than that. Yeah, Why'd they have him do that if they just wanted to pee on him? Where the lady who put the bombs in our heads can't touch us? You can stop talking now. Yeah. Very mean spirited, yeah. God, I hate this fucking tooltip shit too. Like, please slide upon landing three times. Like, how about I don't fucking want to? How about every time I do, you reset it eventually anyway? Go away. Stop making me do everything you want. Sliding grants a temporary traversal buff to your next move. Alt, slide. Upon landing, square button, square button, square button. Is this the apocalypse of legend? Have we brought it about? 
And the amount of random dialogue they recorded just in case people thought for a second, you know? It's been pretty miserable, as you can tell. Mechanically, it's it's incredibly dissatisfying. Um, most of the combat feels incredibly repetitive, and you can tell they've done everything they can to try to avoid that being realized. Like that shit with the defend command post or collect random things and put them into the thing. Like, it, it's all revolving around the same shit that's incredibly fucking dull. And then there's the story. The fucking story, lads. Holy shit. Looks clunky as fuck, too. Because it is. And then it doesn't run very well. We've obviously got all the reports of bugs that they've had to fix. The uh, game-breaky ones. And then there's the uh, the disrespect aspect that hasn't been fun to watch either, so... The game was delayed. Why couldn't it have been delayed infinitely? Wouldn't that have been the better choice? <sighs> I don't know. I've popped on... Their classic outfits, this lot. As you can see, they're more fun. Like, Boomerang looks like fucking crazy. Harley looks way better. And uh, I even think Deadshot looks pretty cool. We're gonna we're gonna roll with these outfits for a little bit, and then I'm gonna show you guys the the other outfits you may be aware of. But we're not there yet, okay? Ali still looks like shit. Ah, I reckon she looks alright like that. These costumes are way more fun. Is the game good? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't believe you're promoting this game again. I've already bought eight copies. Send help. I suppose that's possible. You could be gifting it. This is so obviously a trap. So obviously a trap. I actually spoke to Fringy, and God, you, you his reaction to to Boomerang's voice is exactly what you expect. He was just like fucking hideous, like desperate to be like, I'm Australian, notice me. You thought I was dead, psych? Oh, sorry, Quinn. Look around, Boyd. We have more to worry about than my team. She's like how much they even care about each other's feelings, but the, the people want to argue simultaneously that they don't care about anything, and that's why it's okay that they're doing everything they do in the game. Rather interesting, isn't it? If I got to listen to this dialogue, you bet your ass I'm commenting on it. Whoa, noises that I've done stuff. Perhaps this heart is buried, like the Edgar Allan. Oh, we get it, mate. You read a book. You didn't even let him fucking say anything. You could That joke doesn't even make sense, because he would have to know who Edgar Allan Poe is. Uh, thus, uh, like, at that point, he knows just as much as fucking King Shark does. You gotta let him actually talk about the Telltale Heart before you can fucking criticize him for knowing it. Ain't it funny, the Shark really? Not only did they cut King Shark off way too early for that joke to work, but did you notice how clunky it was? I assume you guys have noticed in, like, TV and stuff where the characters go, Wait a minute, I was... And then someone goes, Hey! <laughs> like, like... Might wanna, might wanna edit that a little closer. Oh boy, who loves retconning characters' sexuality and making them a pedo? Oh, you've got the, the, you know, the weird shit with, uh, with Poison Ivy. Remember, Harley was madly in love with Joker in the Arkhamverse. Garbage. When did they change that then? Was it one of the other games, or was it just for this one? Cause... Oh my god. Hi, we're looking for Lex Luthor. Bald guy. Rich, uh, Big hole in his chest. This is Luthor. His sense is the same. Would it be? Yeah, mostly. Ah, wow, unbold. <laughs> we all saw what happened. If this is him, how'd he grow his hair back so quick, eh? <laughs> My hair is hardly. <sighs> Game is very obsessed with his boldness. What are these costumes? <laughs> Listen, it suits. That explains why you're dressed up like Deadshot and Lady Boomerang. Outfit yourselves and meet me top side. What? They have Lady Boomerang. It's a multiverse. Wait, is it a parallel universe? Yes, this is a parallel universe. Well, no, to, to you, you it would just be... It would be an Earth 2. To you it would be the noble universe, right? <laughs> defeated. And now, terraformed. Oh. I had been communicating with your Lex Luthor, preparing him for Brainiac. Did a fucking shit job of that, huh? I want I got in Why are we here? Like, now I'm like, we ended up in the parallel universe because Brainiac accidentally sent us here? Did I misremember the cutscene? Did we fall into, like, a portal that was created by someone else? Also, why the fuck did he just shoot that? I didn't even fucking process that for a second there. Why'd you do that? You might as well put my collection to use. 
Infamy weapons are now available. So, this is what he's given me, is a shield mod and a shield. A traversal mod and a shield. Wow, I'm so lucky. <sighs> Wonderful. Oh look, sto story score. Maul has got 294, Weekend Warrior 6. <laughs> Loser! Okay. Three years alone. Damn. He looks stable. Considering. Yeah. Considering. Yeah. Considering. So glad we collected a t new teammate to spout more cringe dialogue. Are you talking about the fucking toy dude? This is something I want to talk about. People were, were saying that um, you shouldn't Stop be it. mad. Put that sniffer to work. Shut the fuck Anybody up. We've got a... I'm no bloodhound. Here to sniff out clues, Boomerang. But no, no one else has been here. Now let's see how long we can go without saying anything, alright, team? So, the... It would be prudent to commence our evacuation before the enemy forces arrive. Let's see how long we can go. Stop speaking. So, the... What I was going to talk about was a lot of people were saying that... What do you think you Walla will give us for this, Lex? This guy you want to jab a neck bomb in. Yeah, Boomer, because he's not a freaking kid. Jokes, 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 jokes. They don't even let you breathe. The jokes and dialogue are horrible. People were saying you shouldn't be mad because the Suicide Squad killing the Justice League, you may find it unrealistic. But the fact is, like, they're going to get all of Batman's plans to take out the Justice League, which is something that people are on board with. Batman is written so that that's something that he can achieve. It's something acceptable, something we've seen in other uh, instances. So I would argue that, you know, like, the, that that is actually relatively reasonable. And something I was actually looking for context on. I was curious if we were going to get Batman's resources or whatever. We've only killed the Flash. All we did with the Flash was we tried to fight him and failed twice, got saved by superheroes, like, twice or three times even, and then someone turns up by chance and gives us a weapon that lets us kill him. How has that got anything to do with Batman's plans that we stole? And so I was thinking like, you know, because there's a way to write that, but I, I don't I don't see how that is indicative at all of that kind of writing. In fact, the way we beat Flash was retarded because we got those tools and then we didn't even use them correctly in gameplay. So, um, you know, curious that that's how people have rated this shit. This is why I wanted to play it as well, so that we can't get, like, random nonsense comments about it from people who haven't played it, which is precisely what they've accused uh, different people, including me, of. Like, well, I got context now, bitch, and it's not helping, because <laughs> the writing in this game has been pretty shocking so far. Challenge odds just a phase. This Lex claims he can get us home to our world. All we have to do is get him to Lex Tower in one piece. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be like in that movie. The one with the desert. I'm speaking. What? Sometimes. Clear shot. Just the slab doesn't move until it's down. I don't think Boomerang used the Speed Force gloves a single time in a cutscene before Ivy. It's unreal technology. It's fucking insane. You just the the fact that he casually got the ability to use the fucking Speed Force from what was essentially. The fucking first room you approach in, like, Jurassic Park, you know, like, the, oh, hello, everyone, this is the Justice League, here's a bunch of stuff, oh, by the way, Speed Force tech, if you can just pick it off the fucking glass if you break it hard enough. I still don't get how Lex faked his own death. Faked his boomerang? What do you think is happening? Does that even make sense? The boomerang would think this is the same Lex after we've only explicitly talked about it being a different universe. Like, I get that we think he's dumb, but how does he keep, like, have, having dumb comments that just don't make any sense? I can't remember what it was. We talked about this on before. It was a character who was really stupid, and people were like, he's stupid, though. And it's like, yeah, but that's not stupid. That's inventing information. What's he talking about? It's like, he's like, oh, he hasn't been listed because he's stupid. You're like, all right. Always fun. I wouldn't wish servitude to Waller are my worst enemies. You literally laughed at doing it to Penguin, who is less evil than Ivy and was willing to let you walk away. Remember the, the moral outrage of putting a bomb in Ivy's neck? Nobody cared when they put it in the, um, the toy, toy man, I think? Neck? N nobody gave a shit about that. It's like, oh. This isn't your dimension. 
We are in a variant timeline, and honestly, Lady Boomerang would have picked up on this a lot quicker. Lady Boomerang is smarter than you, because... It's, it's funny, I was about to say that was like irrelevant information, like, um, telling us again what we already know from the other cutscene, and it's like, yeah, but it gets to establish that Boomerang is dumb as fuck, and it's like, you've, you've established this like 15 times. Can you at least be funny? Once? So cool. Heading towards side this planet colon. Is it a big shitty beach too? Cool. No. No. We are still within the pardon my dust phase of the terraforming. Continuing the analogy, consider these Kaluan smart crystal structures as the scaffolding. Um Um... um I, I, uh... Am I just not allowed to play anymore? How do I how do I reconnect to the server in order to play my campaign? You're having too much fun. <laughs> oh, clearly. Oh, the game just kicked me out. Like, <laughs> it's just like you're not allowed to play it today. You're like, okay, join our Discord. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Oh! Oh, cool! No going back. Yeah! Sweet, man. I get to do the fun gameplay again. What can I even say about this? What, what is there to say? Like, you guys know exactly what there is to say about this. It's like, press F to pay respects to gaming. I mean, not all of it, but obviously some of it. Like, the fact that this is where we're headed uh, for a lot of mainstream AAA quote-unquote stuff is fucking sad. Absolute trash. In the middle of playing something that I was just expressing how I wasn't really enjoying because it's so repetitive and simplistic. And then I get pulled out of it because they're like, well, you're not signed in properly. And then they just let me continue, but I have to restart. It's like, okay, sure, man. I get to listen to all your awesome dialogue again. This is gonna be great. Or I could dialogue volume zero. There was a certain artistry to Gollum's stupidity. This is evil cringe slop. How does it feel to see all your favorite franchises go down in flames? Yeah, I know. One of them ones. That's why That's why the description says another one bites the dust. Uh, between this game and the 2004 Star Wars Battlefront, I am actively playing the 2004 Battlefront right now. You should be. That is a much more correct thing to do. Oh boy, it's time for action. Until we blow up the second tower, I ain't putting the dialogue back on, okay? You can't fucking make me. We did it. Are these career criminals or babies? Hard to tell. <laughs> See the music. Cheers to you for sticking through this crap. Oh, we're gonna finish this one. We are. There are there are cutscenes that we need the context for. And so is it gonna fucking disconnect me at the same place, do you reckon? Oh, it would be funny, but also incredibly painful. I'm gay actor Michael Douglas. F this game. I had a feeling that gay actor Michael Douglas wouldn't like this game. It's, it's such a busy work game, you know? They're like, oh, we can't just have them get to the next thing in the story. Put some stuff in the way. I don't know. Is it a big shitty beach too? Cold Is it a big shitty beach too? Not able to rope three friends to play this with you, Noobsley? Oh, I, I didn't want to. Genuinely, I don't, I don't expect them to buy this shit. Like, that's, that's my answer to that. I suppose we could have had me, Fringy, Rags, and 
like metal playing it, but I, I genuinely, the, the, there's no need. If this is going to prove to you folks that this is not worth buying, we don't need to have three other people buy it and do the same. Though it probably would have been funny and painful. I don't blame him, especially since free games like Warframe blow this out of the water. Man, why is DC cursed? I really like that universe. We all like the DC universe. It's not fair that this keeps happening to it. People worked on this, like actual humans. Yeah, in theory. In theory. Harley, oh my god, so many lights and explosions. I'm winning! Exciting stuff. You can even tell the voice actors are into it. Ezra Miller Flash or this Flash? You must choose this Flash. <laughs> I don't even hate the Flash in this game. He was pretty normal until... Because people pointed out what he did with Batman was badass and heroic. But the game like doesn't seem to understand that. Which is a huge shame. I'm sorry, Mauler, I just can't watch this game anymore. This game makes me so mad at how badly it treats beloved characters. I just can't. It's alright. I don't blame you. I like how they're all just flim-flamming around a lot of the time. Like... Have you seen them glitching around too? This game is not entirely sure what to do with them. I am a frozen fish. I believe he is parsing data with a high amount of dimensionality. Oh, is that a science joke, mate? You're a bloody science joke. Oh, ho, ho. this could have just happened. Like, this, this could have just been what happened when we got to Lex. He could have done this. We didn't need all this bullshit. But, like, it's like, we gotta put you against random freebs. This character's a real piece of shit. Person of shock. Nice. Whoa. Now where are we? He wanted to come to the other universe, but he hadn't done it up to this point. You're not streaming it again, are you? We're gonna get to the end of the campaign and then I can say goodbye to the game, okay? I gotta I gotta see how they do all of the things. Otherwise, it's not very fair of me to be critical of it without any context. Though, as I explained at the beginning, it's fun to now learn that a lot of the defenses for this game were absolutely just made up. Listen, we've got a problem. You vanished. You better have a damn good explanation. Explanation of your killer. We know. How's this? We killed Flash. You're welcome. And got sent to another frickin' dimension for our trouble. Don't know sure how that happened. There? How in the hell did you get back? Well, funny you should ask that, cause... Hold the line, hun. I am not your hun. T <laughs> oh my god. I am not your hun. How could you say that to me? Tell me Waller. Happened. This world can't know I'm here. Sorry, buddy, but we got no reason to lie for you. Nothing personal, but we'll get 30 years easy off our si She's their daddy. Yeah, <laughs> that's the correct title, okay? Get it right. Sentences for bringing you in alive this time. The same devil's bargain my Waller made with Task Force X back home. Quinn! Uh, uh, Dad! Breaking! I've been... I was enlisted into her schemes, just like you. Answer me! Her choices got you all killed. <laughs> that does sound like her. And us. Get this into the Inner Sanctum computer. So, that's not a realization. The idea that, that they're like, you know, you gotta be careful with Waller, she could lead to your death. It's like, she's threatened to kill us, like, a million times, and we've seen her kill people. Like, I don't even know... You said everyone in your world is dead. <laughs> this is not shocking information. I can prove your Waller's the same type of monster. Quinn! We already know she's a monster. What do you mean? Talk now, or I'll make sure it's never. We are our, our comms. They busted. Our comms were busted. Denning, get in here. You said the comms upgrade would be seamless. I've had it with your shit. Get your ass to the garage. You're on gerbil cleanup. Why did that convince her when it was so obviously being faked, and they came through crystal clear for so long? Yeah, 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 Dennings, get your shit together. Dennings sucks. That all of this is coming through crystal clear. Just ask them the question again. You four, we're gonna have a chat about this other dimension. 
Return to the Hall of Justice now. Why not now? Waller out. You owe us. What? And I'll repay you in full. Well, go on then. You owe us, the people who he, he got you into this universe. What do you mean? You owe him. This adaptive technology will increase the lethality of your weapons. Uh huh. Haven't had any complaints about my lethality, but okay, how does it work? It's a self correcting uh, neural. How does it work? No. Uh. You've unlocked more ways to do damage. Bro, look at the look at the immense amount of activities we could do. Game looks like visual diarrhea. The dialogue is absolutely abysmal cringe, and they have three plus characters cutting each other's dialogue at any given time. Did they even play this game? Oh, that's the thing. I think they did, and I think they liked it a lot. Uh, that's part of what is, is shit. <laughs> it's like they love this shit. I don't know why. God, give me Tetris over this any day. She's having a day. We all are. The word to the wise. Try to keep the bullshit in check. Do you like how we didn't even come up with an excuse for what happened? That was the whole thing, right? We come in thanks to Lex. We don't want to tell her that Lex is a thing because he doesn't trust her. He's worried that she'll kill him or whatever. And so it's like, okay, yeah, we won't tell you that. What are we going to tell her? Huh? I don't even know how this is going to go now. Right about Task Force X working as a three person squad. Think about it. Hey? Why would they rely on King Shark being the one to do the secret thing, you know? <laughs> Best part of the whole game. Get out there and take a recon position, Tash. She didn't even want to know how we got back. She gave up asking about it, but it was like a big deal. Okay, fine. Let's just go. They were super suspicious about it, and I guess this is happening now. All right. Uh, easy to tell this game used to be an absolute horrid live service game based on the damage pop-ups and mechanics of this boss fight. Imagine people playing this when each enemy took 10 seconds to kill. The spam of information is fucking insane. This might be the worst game I've played for it. Sorry, what is that sound? That, like, clicking sound. What was that? What is the Flash even doing right now? Is he just running around? He does that a lot uh, in the game. He just doesn't... They, they highlighted how effective he is at killing people when they had him take someone's heart out without anyone realizing it. And then he just sort of doesn't do that. It's so weird to present that to us and then to be like, you can kill him. <laughs> you guys can kill him. A shark and a clown can kill him. So many things to distract you along the way. Like this, for example. I believe this is a window in reality itself. Okay. The desire to stick my head out is intense. God, there's so much stuff. Oh, is it a flash-based common so enemy? So all these assholes got speed tech now? So it would seem. Yeah, okay, so Brainiac just has the speed force. No big deal. <laughs> we'll, we'll take him out as per usual. These guys have the speed force, and we're just gonna take him out with a minigun. It's chill. We'll be fine. Look, I'm already dealing immense amounts of damage. God, look at this. There's just stuff everywhere. Look at the fucking mini map. Oh my god. What is that noise? There's been... I can't pause. Uh-huh. I kind of have. I've been shooting them all down, what do you mean? Hey, Lex. Time to earn your keep. Just one moment without crisis. So we can. We need the big bad green guy and his mean green shield gone. We can talk to Lex on the comms, really, even though everyone's been hacking into each other's comms for the whole fucking game. That sound is gonna drive me nuts. Literally, whenever I change to this gun, see that? 
Most polished game ever, yeah. The gun won, foreshadowing for the players. Also, from Valhalla to this, we're an insane whiplash. Non-stop action, eh, guys? Visual noise is mind-boggling. There's also just regular noise. Fan of your work. I love the Arkham series, and now I'm watching somebody else fuck it. I'm not a cuck. <laughs> None of us are. Oh, boy. Destroy the crystals! This incubator ship will fall! I know. Excuse me while I try and make sense of what the fuck is going on. Come on! The fuck is stopping? Gotta stay calm. We got a lot of game left. I am managing anger! God, it's so loud. There are people in chat who think God of War is this. This is where I mean. I feel like the discussion has gotten so balked where this this kind of gameplay compared to God of War, holy fuck. Also the writing and the pacing and the fucking characters, let's be honest. How back to KB's money in. It's not for his dude probably uses offshores. Offshores? You know, Sea Bank. Oh. Hmm. Uh, sometimes I can't even tell if they're trying to make a joke. I actually can't. Anything fun? I've been exactly inclined to look around with these sorts of games, you know. I love how they just break into everywhere with like no repercussions. Oh, hey, Wonder Woman. So much for the secret lab, bloody Wonder Shield is here. Don't embarrass me in front of. What was their plan with them to just hope that they would stay locked up in? are beyond saving how many more lives will be lost while you try and fail this feels really fucking weird coming from uh king shark also when you push someone at their shoulder they don't slide across them. it's what it's whatever i do not need a lecture on morality from a shark that's just racist with the lab's security measures disabled i should be able to why though there the easiest takeover in corporate history. So what, what, what happened to them before you did that? <laughs> you, can't, you can't be like, don't worry, there's no safety measures. It's like, now. They're never gonna follow orders. They won't have a choice. Whatever Brainiac has on that ship can control minds. Think about what artists can do with that power. After the Justice League are gone, someone has to keep all the other better humans in line. It should be us. This is not... A realization because they're already doing that with mind bombs yes it would be m even more unethical to use mind control but like why are we treating this like this is a shock in terms of her saying we'll control the meta humans make them do whatever we want it's like this is already happening to you guys and arguably it's worse that they're totally willing to kill you at a moment's notice in terms of like how you should feel about Waller. this is not some crazy betrayal i just don't get it if they die they die yeah they of course Yep. Either way, it's the end of their bullshit. Yep, we already knew this. I knew it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so over getting stabbed in the back. <laughs> don't, don't even want, don't know what to make of this. Now, with these devices, you should be able to end your Green Lantern's little police state. Wow, there's four. A New upgrade. Core battery. Oh, for fuck's Wayne sake. Repurposed. Please don't tell me it's the same mechanic as with Flash. Like, in-game. That would be so sad. Also, this one is more viable that it's a tech that they got from Batman. Well, and everyone's no pointing comment. out... I can't pause, by the way. So. I guess we're ready to kill Lantern now. Man, that was presented to me as an option so much earlier than when it's actually possible. Wait a minute, I think the Suicide Squad are an expendable team. What a plot twist. 
In case you don't know, Flash's tornado sucks the air out of your lungs, so they're all dead. I saw someone highlight, like, why did he spend so much time activating as many as three fucking tornadoes in the fight instead of just killing them all instantly? It's like, I don't know. Friendly reminder, we're on the hardest difficulty that, for some reason, is essentially piss easy until random spikes. It's a classic sign of pure fun in a game. Diana, I don't think I like catching up like this. I see you accessed my vault. What are you going to do with that kryptonite? Oh, I just realized, like, yeah, of course, it's been three weeks. Why would Batman have left all of his you-can-kill-us tech just in a place that can be accessed? Why would he do that? It doesn't make any sense. He's not a zombie. He's Batman, but evil. So of course, they would move it into, like, HQ or whatever fucking Brainiac's, you know, core place is. Boo! I keep forgetting. People have reminded me that they've been here for three weeks. I keep thinking it's, like, the day of, you know? Incubator vulnerable. Quickly exploit this incubator's weakness. Yeah, man, I got gotcha. you. Is there even at least a way to skip gameplay for money? <laughs> I don't even know if that was campaign or if I just accidentally bumped into that. I think I accidentally bumped into it. Ooh, mission rewards. Just getting here. Should I buy this game or? Absolutely not. Hyper non-recommend for me. How are you guys feeling in chat? Would you recommend this game? I'm gonna go ahead and bet that you wouldn't. I hate this fucking skill tree upgrade system, by the way. Critical hit chance increased by 10. Wow. Or heavy weapon skills regenerate 3% shield. Well, I like killing with the miniguns, so I guess that's something. 10 times combat higher shield capacity is increased by 20%. Yeah, okay. Switch to a psyched up member of the team to get a bonus set of damage. No, fuck you. King Shark for the whole mission. The whole game, okay? You can't stop me. Just finished watching the whole story cutscenes, but my god, you're not prepared for how blatantly money-grubbing the end is. The balls on WB. Oh, we'll get there. This probably happened because we didn't go to church enough. <laughs> Gonna need the whole Yellow Lantern Corps to get past me. Okay. Just be prepared. Why don't you help him, Batman? What the hell else is going on in this fucking city that you can't knock out the only people that's making a difference? I haven't seen my daughter. Yeah, you keep reminding me of the daughter thing. I've really got nothing other than my daughter. It's just my daughter over and over again. It's his character wall, uh, my daughter. <laughs> my daughter is my character. What sucks is that the scene where Flash tells Diana she has to kill them could really be heartbreaking if the writing was good. Oh yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. That's one of the things I guess I forgot to mention was that's a real big moment for Flash to break through his mind control thanks to the lasso of truth and to say basically in un un no uncertain terms you have to kill us. That's, a that's like a big deal, but then, you know, we need a reason why too. So my guns just break them now. I remember trying this before and it didn't work, but okay. Like the yellow ring shit hasn't come into it yet, right? Oh, hey, bud. Has he just been chilling here instead of killing us? Why? I thought I was going to have to hunt you jailbirds down. Like dogs. And here you are. 
Yellow lanterns? Better be... <laughs> Did you get those from a gumball machine? Damn, they're tiny. Doesn't matter. We heard they break a lantern's will. How's your will doing? <laughs> why are you even telling him this shit? And then why do you tell him in such a fucking cringeworthy way? We're gonna break a green lantern's will with yellow rings. How's your will? Deadshot brings up an interesting point. Green lantern rings run on willpower. Can a mind-controlled green lantern still use their power? Brainiac can corrupt the human biology, but the rings are way more advanced. This is of course brushed off. How you feeling, Floyd? Goddamn peachy. Ready to kick your ass. Oh. How you feeling, people? Y'all are stomping all over my moment here. <laughs> you really thought yellow lantern tech would penetrate my personal shields? I don't fucking know, dude. It's up to the game, isn't it? A dazzling display, even in its destruction. Good call, Bruce. The insurgents came right. You're not breaking my will. Apparently we easily did. Don't you damn convict learn anything? You're all marked for elimination. This is all they could come up with. Dude, the fucking music too. I've been integrated into Brainiac's army for weeks now. Fucking music, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Before he recovers, you got some training. I guess you're just making a mess and wasting my time, convicts. Whoa. You know, green is my least favorite color, buddy. Damn, Fringy's gonna be pissed. So you're gonna make this interesting, huh? I mean, I'd like you to. Focus on the construct. Wow, that was tough. You came to fight in my combat zone? Are those little toys really supposed to take me out? Me? I mean, I'm winning, Why so... Can't see shit, lol. I'm having a bit of trouble with it, but... The thing is, it's not too it's difficult, so... Like, there's nothing much in terms of pressure going on. Focus back. And you four are done. You four were marked for integration, but I think we'll just stick with termination. Mm, music's having trouble again. Okay, game. Give me a hand. This is it. Now chance to actually earn the pop. The polish, the sheer polish. Gotta keep moving to put it out. This quick boomerang, but it hurts real bad. Setting up a perimeter defense. I'm gonna make you four answer for flash. For all of it. Uh-huh. Let's settle you four down. Give Lantern all you got, Swan. He's I gave you four a chance. You could have been part of a new world. Where's Batman? Dead yet? Yeah. Let's 
Trick is broken. Let us finish this. Well, there you go. Simple as that. You'd think that Brainiac, seeing someone like that, would have sent everything to protect Green Lantern, but oh well. Also, yes, the bullet sponge nature of that was fucking intense. What's up, Lantern? What's up? Still feeling fresh and relaxed? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Not so easy in a fair fight, is it? That was fair? fair? <laughs> Y'all look pathetic. Four dipshit cars too down to know when they're punching above their weight. I mean, you You're lost. Just gonna but... go from Marla's prison to Brainiacs. Wait, what? Shouldn't that be something he shouldn't say? Nah. Didn't you hear? We're out on good behavior. Oh. We are not. Is that it? Lantern. We're out on good behavior. Any good way to for Batman to pop out of a floor grate and punch each of us in the brain. God, I fucking wish. Wait, what? What? Shark? What you got there, buddy? Somebody take it from him. You want to try? Pretty sure this is not how this works. It's not even fucking on. What's going on? I love how he's just- this is just happening. None of this makes any fucking sense. It's just happening. All of these different aspects. And they're trying to treat this as though it's a huge epic moment when we're all just sitting here like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> You have to be joking. Just dropped in the water now. The fucking green lantern's ring is just off. Yeah, bye. We just needed it temporarily for the shark to just control it when you can't do that and then, and then just breaks the shield in one place that I guess Brainiac won't be able to fix. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Waller. Shields down. Yeah, apparently. Acknowledged. What a suck. Acknowledged. She didn't even fucking want to know what the hell happened. Did she not see the giant shark? Did nobody else see this? The ring almost killed them all. We were so close. You've given us the opening. We're taking it. Okay. Your sentences will be posthumously commuted in recognition of your efforts. Impact in 10. Waller. Always taking the nuclear option. Not even mad at this point. Six. Six. Stop now when you know. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh, it's about fucking time. Please kill them. Where has he been this whole time? Kill him! Just randomly got to the part where Diana was talking to Bruce, and they still had her call Superman Cal. Stop that. It's Clark. She knows that. She is supposed to be his friend. Goddamn useless writers. by his name is Clark. We dealt with this problem in the fucking Snyderverse too. Wonder Woman so desperately referring to him as Kal-El all the time. Are those Green Lantern underpants? Like, branded? They have Wonder Woman reacting to things, but she rarely ever shares any of her actual opinions about anything that's happening, or tries to take any level of control. What the fuck has she even been doing this whole game? Oh, whoops. That's bad. Oh well. He's still in there somewhere. No shit. No matter what Brainiac has done to them, I can still- LOL. <laughs> what? like an Avengers meme when she's being serious. She was talking about trying to save them instead of Get killing them. X. And you made it a meme. What? When Superman memed Wonder Woman off the screen, 
My brain stopped. Where has he been? Why didn't he help the Flash? Or Green Lantern? Why didn't he defeat the shark construct? How is there even a shark construct? Why didn't the fucking ring fly off to find the next worthy candidate? Where is that water where that ring fell into? How the fuck did Green Lantern die? How does a device made by Batman break down a psychological process for self-control? Does John not have an immense amount of self-control being a seasoned Green Lantern? Why is the Green Lantern's corpse half naked? Why is he wearing Green Lantern branded boxes? I don't fucking know. Where did Superman appear from? We followed the rocket to Brainiac's face and he wasn't there. Then he Timothy Olyphanted into frame. Why did that nuke go off? What did it hit to initiate the explosion? How far did Superman bring that? It didn't blind any of the Suicide Squad which could happen to people up to 50 miles away. So how fast is Superman? He flew it away and got back in a minute. So why did he hit Wonder W-A-H-M-E-N instead of the Suicide Squad? They would all die to that force. Holy shit, so much wrong in just a few minutes and it only gets worse. I don't understand. I can't pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You drop a nuke on our heads and you think we'll just come running when you call? You got bombs in your face, I fucking idiot. To your nanite bombs. I die, you die. Now get moving. Exactly. Forever. They say this like the writers were like, better remind the audience of why the Suicide Squad are doing anything they've been told. And it's like, how, how, how stupid do you think everyone is? And then you write it in, in the story that they're like, oh my god, Waller's gonna kill us? Waller, Waller doesn't want us alive? That's insane, man. And then we've had Wonder Woman being treated serious throughout the whole game. Seeing Green Lantern's now dead, the Flash is dead, and she doesn't want Kal-El to die as well. And so she announces she's still gonna say- and then she gets wiped off the screen, like, for a meme. I just don't get this fucking game at all. <laughs> Tom wasn't fucking anything anyway. It's just so funny he arrived and had the way to kill the Flash just so casually. <laughs> I want to, like, not have them all shielded up all the time. Boing! Feeling like we good. Boing! Come on, man. Is that enough? Jesus. I genuinely do not understand why they chose to make this game about killing the Justice League instead of just defeating and capturing them. Why did they think this would be a good idea? Who wants this? I don't know, man. Get me to the Hall of Justice. We've been through this before. Your expendable assets. Yeah, but for some reason that was treated like a huge reveal. I don't understand it at all, and neither does Waller, apparently. That was always the deal. Expendable assets with feelings. Apparently not, because you didn't give a fuck about Flash dying after he saved you twice, Holly. They're bad, though. Why would they have those feelings? Yeah, it makes sense. Totally makes sense. They're not really quite human. They're human in a different way. Shouldn't that kryptonite be making a pretty big difference? Kryptonite nerfed, yeah. Pretty sure that's not how kryptonite works. Like, like him being that fucking close to it, it doesn't need to be that much closer to do something. The kryptonite isn't on yet. <laughs> God, the tone is so dead, isn't it? Why did- what is this? Like, we keep pretending like it's just that that's it, but then Wonder Woman and Superman's fight just keeps conveniently landing right in front of us. Like, what's- Do you want to settle on what the fuck we're doing here? <laughs> oh, that's the actual funny, see? Not that. He 
wants his ice cream. We'll all live long enough for you to betray us again. There is no betraying. She's just gonna kill us. I am literally holding your trigger right now. Uh huh. Stick on this truck. Clear out anything that gets in my way. Yeah, because that's what we ever do in this game. Nice driving, dumbass. Where has Batman been? <laughs> this whole time, Batman is like fucking commentating on it like it's a boxing match. Hello, <laughs> woman driver. <laughs> hey, the game did it, not us. Superman unleashed is an awesome sight to behold. No, it's just lame at this point. Look, he's he's Superman, strong and stuff, but he's also mean. You know, I'm not even that invested in Lois Lane's commentary on the situation either. I'm gonna be completely honest. Where's Jacob Kane and his Desert Eagle? Are they safe? Are they all right? Hopefully he'll be in the DLC. Actually, wait, he should stay away from this, because he's only in quality, okay? Rip Kevin Conroy. Yes. Um. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. He's very, a uh, legendary voice actor. I would've just told Waller to fuck off at this point if I'm in the squad. I mean... You don't want to get your head exploded, but she's- I would assume she's probably just gonna fucking kill us at the end of this. Every time. And the fact that she revealed she's gonna control you, it's like, what do you think this all was? Fucking- it's horrible. It's- she threatens to blow up your heads if you don't do exactly as she says. One might call that control. I hope everyone's a lot nicer to PS5 Spider-Man after this. That game was just slightly cringe, but this, fucking hell. Oh, this is- this is pure concentrate, so. So be careful when dealing with this kind of cringe. The anti-speed force device feels like Dragon Rend in Skyrim, where you wonder if it even affected them. Yeah, I mean, well, they, they handled the Flash boss fight completely balkedly. The Green Lantern one was incredibly low at imagination, right? Like, it was just, he makes constructs, you shoot them, and then you can shoot him. And he had ridiculous health. But I guess I'm on hard, so that's how you do that. I'm gonna head out, this game is awful. <laughs> Makes some sense. Would have preferred they introduced Bloodsport instead of another dead shot. Yeah. I think that makes sense. If dead shots crack and jokes, we really must be up Shit Creek. Shit Creek is not an actual waterway. <laughs> this is the definition of mind numbing. Somewhat. Yes. We chill. Why do you suck at driving? Flash proving how cool his powers are just by making this matchup silly. We have to get inside the inner sanctum. A little bit, yeah. No. Why would you be protected in there, really? Oh look, it's them again. You just keep bumping into him, man. Oh, whoops. Oh, We're so close. He also has the fucking speed force, by the way. Doing it again, just hitting him with a shield. Their fight hasn't been very creative, has it? It's been slab, 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 slab. You're like, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> Pathetically trying to crawl up the staircase. And uh, I also love just the Suicide Squad just being like, we're on pause. We're not allowed to do anything right now. Nice one peeing on Flash, Eldritch Lad. Hey, I didn't do it, okay? This game makes me miss the silent protagonist. Fuck yeah. Okay. Oh, we got us a shot. Take your last breath. No. Then help me. I only need one of you. As for the other three, you're dead already. Doesn't even make sense. What are you guys doing? What were you thinking about? Careful, Superman, there's a shard. Oh, you shouldn't have done that, Shark. That's Superman. He'll kick your ass. I legit have no idea how this works, because Superman could kill all four of them in an instant. 
Like I just don't I just don't get it. You know? She's with us. Why? Why do you like Wonder Woman so much, but you hate everyone else? What why? Oh well, that's that. I'm sorry, Kello. He's barely in the game. Obviously because he would be way too powerful and he would have killed everybody easily ten times over by now. Like fucking Batman would have too. How are you doing that with kryptonite in your heart, bro? The sheer fact that that shard of kryptonite pierced that deeply into Superman's chest should mean that his heart would be fucking destroyed and he would have died on the spot. I, f I feel like that's GG for you, buddy. <laughs> They're pretending like they can't do anything. <laughs> You've got... Guns? You've got he's been he's 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 got an open wound with kryptonite at his heart. You could probably shoot that. You could literally do anything. You could get her out. You could actually have Boomerang walk up to her, touch her leg, and then fucking speed force out. King Shark could tackle. Understandably he's Superman, but they're just doing nothing. <laughs> they're pretending there's just nothing they could do. I'm actually willing for them to try something for it to fail as well, but nope, they just gotta like oh What is going on? Why does Harley care so much? Okay. Since when was- when, when, when did this happen? When was the Harley Wonder Woman thing? It's just- Don't try to talk. I <laughs> don't- What? It should have killed him. You'll recover. Be prepared. Shark, help me carry her in. We got medics inside. Thought the four of you- couldn't achieve anything. <laughs> they, the Flash basically killed himself after protecting them, and then they killed Green Lantern just because they had Batman's tech. I don't even... What am I supposed to make of this? Prove me wrong. What? Oh no. <laughs> She's melting. Probably just bushed. Right? Her heart has stopped beating. What is happening? Why are we so sad about Wonder Woman, but we didn't give a shit about the others? I actually have no fucking clue what is going on here. You went out like you lived, doll. What? Looking sharp. What the fuck? Never listening to us. You just stood there and didn't do anything. <clears throat> what the hell do we do now? Task Force X, get inside. <laughs> She spent the whole scene just climbing up one step in five minutes, just like, motherfuckers, I need a hand, like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'd... Oh, it's such a joke. Doesn't she have comms? Where's everyone else? 
Where is everyone else? We're right next to HQ. It's funny how defenders of this game will say, they are villains, of course the Suicide Squad won't respect the superheroes. And then Wonder Woman gets respect from them because, she fought the bad guy, Flash did the exact same thing and saved them from being captured or killed, and he gets pissed on and forgotten about. What even man? Man face palming. <laughs> she kept falling back down the- The amount of effort they put into Harley being sad about Wonder Woman died, I actually can only conclude it's because they're both women. That's- that's literally it. There's no other reference. She- why didn't she care about the Flash like this? Saved her personally. Twice. Wonder Woman didn't even save them from Superman. She was fighting him adjacent to what they were doing. You know what I mean? You could definitely argue that it's like, oh, well, she still died trying to stop a man who would eventually kill us, maybe. But, like, again, it's just so much more distant than the Flash stuff. With Wonder Woman gone, there's nothing to stop him from healing up and coming back. Maybe not. I've discovered a piece of tech that could maybe do things. Maybe not. I bet they've made some changes to Superman. Down to his DNA. What? Same thing probably happened to the rest of the League. Right. If we got our hands on, like, Batman, still breathing, man, right. he could cook up a Superman killing thing. What? All you need to do is bring me the bat. This is written like such garbage, right? It's like, the, you see, Brainiac has mind-controlled Superman, so it stands to reason that when we stabbed him in the heart with Kryptonite, that he may have had his DNA changed. And so we need to capture Batman to analyze his DNA to see what changes they made to Superman. I need to speak to the people who wrote this and be like, did you think that was, like, intuitive? Or are you just, are you just not from Earth? Because that could be it, too. He's probably holed up in one of his bat caves. If it's something in the Earth, I can find it. You're not getting in there without Batman's biometric signature. Or the Batmobile. I've never been more desperate. Never have I been more desperate to watch Batman absolutely murder the fuck out of a bunch of people. Like, feels weird, man. But we're here. I got a Batmobile. Since when? Up here, soldier boy. Sweetest piece of mechanical engineering that I didn't invent myself. Based on Boomerang's plan. And that wasn't suspicious to you at all, that Boomerang just uh, said his DNA has been changed at the core. I like that we need to deal with Batman anyway, and we're just dealing with him in order to deal with Superman. When, by the way, Superman could be dead. We actually don't even know. He could have flown off and then died. Like, we, we, we have no idea. And yet he has a schematic for the Batmobile in his head. Why not? Everything else makes sense. Find the cave, catch the bat. Okay, fine. Bring him back to the Hall of Justice. Yeah, easy, sure. Alive. See how that goes. At 20 times combo and higher, your last five critical hits add 25% of their damage to the next shield harvest attack. Am I the only one here who reads stuff like that and absolutely fucking goes brain dead? Like, falls asleep. At 20 times combo and higher, your last five critical hits add 25% of their damage to your next shield harvest attack. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, sure, man. It's the only option I got, so I, yeah, sure. I guess I'll just throw that on. Fuck it. All right. Exploring our roots. Let's just let's just get going. I'm excited for the next part of this adventure. Target Wonder Woman has been dealt with. She would have been an exemplary follower, Brainiac. You know, how they get Batman? I mean, it's not like you can't get him, but I don't know, man. Just just thinking about how they got like half the Justice League, and it's like you got Batman. Okay. Amanda Waller will send you four to confront me. It's probably better they don't show us, you know. I'm sure it was as simple as they went, Hey, Batman, I got I got candy in the back of this van. He went, Ooh. You and me, Shark. We're vicious. I've met animals before, Shark. I love that. I 
Oh, so many numbers. Do you guys ever get the sense when you're watching me that I know what I'm doing? Because you really shouldn't. I'm just saying. Like, if you think I know I'm a play how to play this game, I don't. Proof. Gizmo, where's that freaking Batmobile? On my way. How is this gonna work? <laughs> Even a gerbil was impressed. You promised the Batmobile, not a crap mobile. Crap mobile? Yeah. Crapmobile. This baby's all fixed with Wayne Tech spoofers and multi-scan masking. Yeah, this is gonna spoof Wayne Tech. Yeah. As far as any of Mr. Bruce Wayne's inventions are concerned, this beautiful creation is the Batmobile. No. Still no way I'm getting in one of those. It's off limits to the likes of you four anyways. I meet you at the spots that Chlorophyllis here found. You hold off the slavering hordes, I'll do some digital spawn. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna drive to a place and you've gotta defeat the enemies that spawn around me. Looking to see what's what? Bob's your uncle. I do not have an uncle Bob. <laughs> Don't have an Uncle Bob. Yes. Will we each be assigned an uncle? No. <laughs> yes, uh, how are you feeling about this game? You guys feeling better or worse about this game since you've seen me play it, I wonder. Okay, at 20 times combo and higher, performing a shield harvest has a 100% chance to make another enemy within 10 meters of shield harvestable. Oh, make them that. This can only happen once every 30 seconds. Sure, I guess. What are the ultimate grenades on? Uh, ult bleh, upgrades. Increase maximum combo by 20, and if the combo breaker triggers at 20 times... Yeah. I'm almost asleep looking at this. Transforms domineering presence into unchained power. This requires 50 times combo. Increases damage reduction by 40%. Is there anything cool? Why does the gameplay movement look like playing Crackdown on a COD Zombies map? I don't know. This has become the way games are made this for these the kinds of games. Yeah, of course. That's a known issue. Comrades, <laughs> I like that he describes it as a known issue. Like, the, the game's basic gameplay is a known issue. We use an echolocation to find the bat. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go look in another hole. Yep. Me and I found three caves where your man bat might be. So you gotta check each of them. Or get lucky, but... We, it couldn't be that you just know where he is. We have to do the, the Horde. We have to go to the place and do Horde. Go place, do Horde. Go place, do Horde. In the Harley Quinn show, Ivy dies and resurrects straight back as an adult. No kid. Also, the founders of Rocksteady left in protest of this game. That wouldn't surprise me at all. And yeah, you can easily resurrect her as an adult. You don't have to make her a kid. I don't know why. Nobody ever shuts up in this game. Correct. Oh boy, enemies. Nothing again, huh? Wouldn't have to fight him. Not chickening out, are you, Boomer? I was never chickened in. I was on the sidewalk, like said to look smart. My God, please. We know. We should proceed to the true fast game. 
No, we're not doing extra random horde. We'll do, do only the hordes that are required of us, okay? I hate the very concept of this game. However, if we are running with the idea that the JL has been hijacked and needs to be killed or subdued without hope of recuperation, the Suicide Squad isn't the team for that. The better team would be the Titans, characters being Robin, Nightwing, Superboy, Kid Flash, and Donna Troy. Imagine the emotional weight of the Titans having to defeat their mentors. They would also need to show them respect instead of pissing on their corpses. And the biggest issue, they can actually fight the JL without copious amounts of plot armor. One out of 1000 press alt to slide upon landing progress. Yeah, it's just like, please stop telling me. A flash boss fight, Sonic Forces tier, that's not good. I haven't played Sonic Forces, but... <laughs> Yep. Got the warm up. On the way. We found the back cave, everyone. Now watch a maestro at work. Music gave up again. Yeah. Told you I'd get you in. We ain't gonna outgear bad stead shot. The guy's got the best gear. Uh -huh. It's like his whole deal. Also the bad fixation. Somehow I think that's not gonna matter. Time to take out Batman. He's just been hiding here the whole game. Even if this was his own thing, it's still trash. I agree. It is trash on its own. It gets to be uber trash. I am confident that this will not go as badly as our first encounter. Why? I don't know. He didn't kill us then. <laughs> this time he defo kill us, right? Not if we shoot him first. That's my plan anyway. He did try to kill you. The Flash saved you. You never seem to remember this fact. Oh god, here we go. So, has Batman got a bunch of enemies he can just randomly spawn in here too? Bat droids? Bat? Batman. Oh boy. Oh, I thought they would have like reference suits. Okay. Like, you know, several. There he is. Right for the old bushwhack. What is our strategy? Yeah, bust the door open. You guys retarded? That's obviously not Batman. You wanna you wanna go into a small confined space. Why? Why do I have to do this? Can't they just do it? I can watch them die. Basically, Harley and Ivy are the Frodo and Sam of DC. They're not allowed to be friends. They've got to be gay. It does seem that way. Yeah. I'm shocked. I'm so shocked. I wanted to say goodbye, Tim. After everything, I'm proud to call you Nightwing. Why is this and here? Oracle, my friends. I don't think I can watch Batman cry. Oh, shut the fuck up. I've been secretly developing countermeasures to nullify the rest of the League. Of which we used one. I started with the Yellow Lantern, recovered after our battle with the Sinestro Corps. I found that... Yeah, let's skip him. Enhancing the power of the battery. But that was just the start. I... Tell us how to take you down, bats. Why is Batman even letting this happen? If he is here. I thought this was a trap, but it turns out it's just a fucking room that gives you answers. I heard my guy Bruce talk this much in my life. Remember they said like they passed through this because we fooled the bat tech with that goofy ass crap mobile? Because they were so fucking proud of themselves we're calling. There is no anti-Batman device. True. Ah, rats. Well, it was worth a shot. Robin was here. I do not think he won. <laughs> That's got Robin. Talk about cutting out the middleman. Mm. All Robin is is a is a blood stain on the floor. You know what I mean? Mm. The game like wants to pretend with the 
the sentimentality of like the tiniest of scenes even the the hall of justice right they have like the what these heroes mean and stuff and then they'll have how oh, robin did did live when he went in his robe how oh. i guess they cut out the middle man just a blood stain and somehow they didn't notice that when they came in i guess but it's a joke. It's so funny. They're all so funny. You'll need to rely on all your years of highly specialized training. Uh oh. Discipline. Loyalty to your team. Ah! We're having a freaking moment, you dummy! None of us can. What? For real? Do this alone. God, Holly's fucking baffling in this game. The team you lead. The family you choose. Together, you'll be formidable. That's something you taught me, son. Fuck you. Now, Superman, if you want to have any chance of defeating him... It's gonna be cryptic. No. Listen, here... He's gonna say, this kryptonite over there in my little fucking uh, box over there, grab it and use it. Because Super Batman has no way of knowing that his DNA gets altered when he's getting taken over by Brainiac. This being cut off doesn't mean fucking anything. It doesn't mean fucking anything. It's kryptonite, didn't work, we're fucked. That's it. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. This, is, this means nothing. If you want to have any chance of defeating him... Are you really about to tell me that Batman's turned up now and has turned this off? Like, is that what's gonna be happening? What? Why the fuck Welcome am I boomerang? Real Batman Give me back my fucking King Shark. The loadout is currently locked. Okay, but I don't want to play as fucking Captain Boomerang. <sighs> okay. Guys, Bat says whammy does with fear gas. He wants you to freak out. Why aren't you dead then? Why are you still alive? If you're fucking writhing on the floor with fear gas, can I just capture you? It's not fair. <laughs> Batman doesn't get to be Batman. Mix the gas, not stop the gas. Why am I allowed to do that? So we're gonna have a sequence where uh, Batman applies the fear gas to the the Suicide Squad team, and so you know they're they're gonna be facing their greatest fears, and, and so in in Captain Boomerang's one, uh, he's going to be calling himself a loser, um. Because and, he's, and that he's smelly and that, he, that he's Australian, so yeah, we we thought that uh, we thought that sequence would work really well. Like, why would Sorry. Batman be trying to scare them now? Really? Like, regular Batman scares criminals for sure, but Brainiac Batman, he needs to kill them. They have wiped out almost all of their greatest assets. Fucking kill them! The oh my God, fear flashes! Can I even die? Oh, that Can I die? Whenever this happens in these fucking games, I'm always like, can I die? Actually, though. Where's, where's the little Batman statues? Give me a heartbeat. Oh, is, is that my health at the top, technically? I guess. How does it feel to be the hunted? <laughs> Shoot him when he emerges. Why? I don't fucking need to. Better not shit myself. Am I going to have to do this with all four of them? I know how it sounds, but we got this. Keep radio silent. <laughs> Why are all the Batman sequences so bad? Like, mechanically speaking, they're so fucking shit. Why is she able to talk to me? Why is any of this happening this way? I trust you, Harley Quinn. Uh-huh. Whenever Batman's spooky face appears, make sure to shoot it. 
Can't get me if I'm in a cutscene activating a thing. You're a pet, Nanawe. Oh. You were the hope of a people, a kingdom. No. 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 Until you let surface dwellers drag you away. No, Dad. No, I'm not a pet. Dad, no. <laughs> <laughs> was that the sound of someone playing this game? It sounded a lot like it, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was a QA test as well. <laughs> the sounds, yeah. P.S. Deadshot was white in the Arkham games. Weird, is he wearing blackface? Well, you had um, Deadshot saying that he was the imposter, which as far as I'm aware, is it's the Brain. reverse, right? You are bent. No! I am my own fish! <laughs> These are my friends! Okay, we good. With my friends. Are overdosing on the fear toxin. I too will overdose on the. Oh. Why am I allowed to do it? I don't get it. Why is Batman letting this happen? Keep radio That's what we track. Yeah, okay. Something happened there. Dad? <gasps> Did he bring me here because of you? Do you remember he had a daughter? I love this. Is the meme from the fucking movie, too. Daughter, I have a daughter. It's my daughter. Damn it, my daughter. Daughter, 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 daughter. I don't care. You don't have the balls to kill me. You're never getting out of jail. No, daughter. I didn't mean it nah, like we that. Ain't doing this. First, I'm going here. Now it's there. Thanks for summing up the whole fucking game, bro. First, I go here, then I go there. Doesn't feel like it's very connected, does it? Feels arbitrary. I agree with him. Now I'm confused. Everyone's saying that Captain Boomerang has a crap accent. The voice actor is Australian. I guess Fringy can judge. It's not about him being uh, from Australia. I never said he wasn't. He, he wasn't Australian. Well, I mean, I'm capable of doing a bad Welsh accent. You know, drinkers can do can do a bad Scottish accent. It's not. It's not that. He's trying really hard. And like I said, I think it's the direction rather than the actor because I don't think normal people think like I'm the Australian character, so I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna fucking tear my throat apart. I don't think they do that without someone suggesting they do it. You want to come for me, Bat? Come for me, not my parenting. <laughs> what? Come for me, don't come for my parenting. God, these lines suck. Babe, you gotta work on your bedside manner. Lol. Explosives don't work if I'm pressing buttons. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Batman, are you getting disappointed with how shit you're, uh devices are. This is the hardest difficulty and I get to fuck around as much as I want. Oh no. Aha. <laughs> Press the E button. Wait, that ain't me. Deadshot. It's his vocal harmonizer or whatever. He can't hear you, Quinzel. Shit, shit. Whoa, you're in a fear world. I don't even know how you guys are talking to each other, to be completely honest with you. And the idea that it's like you can... I didn't even think that it was worth listening to any voice that could be heard. When they're saying like, don't press the buttons because I'm telling you to, but it's not me, it's the version of him that's, that's uh, like simultaneously, they're talking to their fucking daughter. Like, oh yeah, I can trust that voice. I thought all of this was bullshit. I figured we're pressing buttons for no reason. I had no idea that they actually thought they were doing something. The idea that she's like, no, 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 no. Trust my voice, not the spooky ghoul voice in the alternate dimension world. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Haunted by all you've done, Harley? No. Give in. <laughs> Give in to what? You know, Bruce, you've been spamming these little bat symbols. Just being honest with you. Well, someone's about to get a heap and help and a hubris. Brainiac told me to preserve your bodies, but I'm going to enjoy destroying your minds. <laughs> Took me years in Arkham to get any sense out of that jabbering kookmeister schedule, oh. but I earned my degree in neurochemistry. You can't defeat me in hey, wacky land because I am wacky. Time. But you ain't immune to mine. What? Impossible. Weapons free, boys. He's standing right there. Yeah. Wait, so... Huh? So he got his fear toxin on us. But we mixed another one just now by just clicking some buttons. And now we have a fear toxin off. Or some 
thing. What? Just drug Batman. Yeah, but now they're just all fucking probably lying on the floor, d drowning on their own fucking vomit. And not fighting each other. That's not... That... <sighs> Welcome to your worst nightmare, Bats. What? Weapons free, boys. He's standing right there. What? So that it's not the fear world, it's a hallucination. You mean hallucinating the fear world? That's what I'm talking about. Trust me, I'm not taking this as seriously as you think that I actually think it's an alternate dimension. I know how the fear toxin works. I'm saying that once you've been hit with fear toxin, nothing is reliable. But apparently it's reliable enough that you can have her counter it with her insanity. That makes sense. She did better than Batman, even though he has, well, he has Batman's brain and the power of the fear toxin, but sure. Fine. This is how it works. What the fuck is this Dark Souls 2 shit? Uh. Like your family of bad adjacent heroes, we too are formidable together. No. Twitter post be like, wow that fight against giant demon Batman was peak fire bro. 30k likes. <laughs> no. Man, what a boss fight. I had to jump and then shoot and then sure, jump and then worked. shoot. And then was fitty fitty jump, on a survivor and then the toxin. Shoot and then jump and then shoot. Jesus. Were you trying to kill him? Oh my god. Lex Luthor wants Batman alive. What we definitely shouldn't do is put him in some kind of elaborate death trap situation. What? Eh, trust me. Been there. <laughs> G'day, Lexi. We got so the sad. Bat. Trash pain. Bring him to me at LexCorp. Bat shoes on the other bat foot, ain't it? Ain't it, Bats? Gosh, you really heavy. H hundreds of millions of dollars to create this experience. Ah. Uh... Have you seen all the stuff about Sweet Baby Inc? Their involvement has a lot to do with what happened with the writing, dialogue, etc. It's a company that specializes in editing narratives for DEI slash ESG. So the thing is, I don't know what was good about the script before they would have added whatever they added. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing in this script that's worthwhile. So did they do, like, the whole thing? Because I don't, I don't see, like, sections that belong to someone who's terrible <laughs> at doing this. And then, of course, the mechanical side, like, it's it's... A disaster as well. You've lost server access. You're unable to play the single player game. I hate modern gaming so goddamn much. Can we do a PS2 game or something? Well, that's the thing, man. If if Metal lived like an hour away from me, even you know, even that, we would be doing that take a shot shit like once per month at least, and it would all be fucking classic games. We're gonna pokeball him. Well, I guarantee the final boss fight will make you question life. Shut the fuck it. up. Let's keep in mind that this is after they delayed the game to make it more fun. Okay, what the hell did the first pass look like? Hail. Well, guys, it's... Jesus, what was that? It's time for the offensive outfits time. That's, that's what time it is. No more clowns. We take all of the ransacked grave outfits. We'll see the rest of the game through with this shit. The best for last, right? Look, it's Batman. Does this not summarize the attitude of this fucking game? Sure that when it comes to gank and super jerks who've had their brains blended, everyone's on the same page, Brucey. We bagged a bat. Leave him out. Medical station. Be careful. I'll need a clear brain scan to set the baseline before the more invasive procedures. Ugh. It's more insulting this or Last of Us 2. They're competing. Everyone's uh, referencing Last of Us 2 for this game. Not a surprise. I am vengeance. I <laughs> am. Hey. No!
Oh. This game seems completely insufferable. Only been watching a few minutes and already hate these characters. Best of luck on surviving this trash fire. We're pretty far through at this point. In fact, oh, I can't look at it yet. Give me a sec. Once they're done with the fucking cutscene. Batman delivered. All right, Lex is gonna need some time, and we ought to tool up before we go for soups. We may need to undertake several Argus missions. Or none. Remember how Walla earlier in the game completely like had control over us over Lex Corp. She knew we were trying to break in and do whatever. She just said it was all part of her plan. It's like, and she hasn't figured out that Lex is here. Wouldn't Lex Corp be under their control? You'd think. But Lex is just in there doing whatever he wants. Alternate dimension Lex. Do you love how much of this game is like, yo, you haven't done any of the district missions. You, you need to complete more Argus stuff. You've got a bonus. And I'm just like, that's great. You do you. Like they will spawn next to be ready for the fight, and they can't do anything because mission's complete. Like, bye. And also, Lois was just talking during all of that. That wasn't the one I was supposed to do, was it? That was just someone else, right? I require your presence at the LexCorp lab as soon as possible. Luther out. They really do just want you to go fuck off and do something random. I didn't even have to do the one I was heading toward. Well then, fine. Let's just go back and do this. It's so arbitrary, all of it, man. Go on, go play like a little idiot, and then you can do the story again. Fingers crossed for a twist at the end of the story, that being all four in Arkham Asylum were profoundly retarded and game was all in the head. Oh, I'm sure that'll make all of this fantasy so much better from the perspective of the devs having like, explored this shit. This is what we needed to do. Gold kryptonite. Gold kryptonite. Whoa. Gold kryptonite. Why did he shave his head? The gold kryptonite will dampen Superman's abilities. That should give you a fighting chance. The alternative is he obliterates every atom in your bodies as soon as he sees you. If only, mate. Uh, Harley, even you can't be stupid enough to think that you have a chance against Superman. Yep. Hmm. <sighs> God, it's so sad, isn't it? Shaved because Harley called it cringe earlier. Oh. We're not even going to be able to see that because I got skins on. Dude, the game thinks it's so badass. Like, holy shit. Calm down. Fun hypothetical sales exercise, Mola. Someone is deciding between buying this pile of shit and Sekiro. Sell them this over Sekiro, hey, go. Whatever. I guess you could sell it as... It's a consumable and portable form of Canadian healthcare without having to go there, you know? That's not so bad, right? Well, Saves I'm, you money. I've invented this new meta material. It's called, um, um, a boomerangium. Yeah. Ah, forget it. It's real technical. Please don't you can Boomerang out. You're doing what? How the hell? You know what? I don't. Mm. Video games. What did I have to do last time? It was just I went into a menu and then went into a different menu. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> You're doing what? How the hell? You know what? I don't even want to know. Good goddamn luck. You know, Wall is just a character that doesn't care about how anything is done or where anyone is or what anyone's doing or how they achieve incredible goals like defeating someone like Superman. She didn't care. You understand, they came up with like really bad excuses in the first selection of the game to try and hide Lex, and then they eventually were just like, fuck it, Walla doesn't even care. Like, why is she even fucking here? Your odds are better than zero. Yeah, better than... Wait, wait, wait. How much better? Oh, sorry. Yep. Breaking up. <laughs> you did that joke so many times already. So crazy, this stuff everywhere. Oh boy.
Why is Holly so obnoxious in her modern incarnations? She was actually a pretty fun character in the original 90s series. Because they ruined her. They think that's what's cool about Harley Quinn. They don't understand how to make her fun. You're gonna die screaming at Superman's feet. Oh, I'd hope so. Why? What's up with his feet? Oh my god. Oh, you think you're a team now? You're herd animals. Dependent on someone else to survive. Like you, Harkness. An illiterate alcoholic who's yeah, desperate for yeah, the spotlight. Yeah, 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 and Floyd's a deadbeat dad. Sharky's a freak who'll never be a real boy, and I'm... What was it? Oh, yeah. I never was too bright. Get some new material, jerk-off. You know, Joker? Used to be real good at hurting people with words. But you... Boop. Even when you're evil, you're still too good. The fuck is this? What a good run, Brucey. Flying around Gotham, punching bad guys, cleaning up the streets, causing long-term mental and emotional damage to everyone you know. Why is this happening? It's our turn now. After all As though they have any fucking position to say any of this. It's so funny. Like, let's have Harley Quinn dressed down Batman. Harley Quinn, the villain. It doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> Trying to take some kind of like moral high ground. What he's been mind controlled, by the way. Oh, we've been through. Oh. But you didn't think it'd be me at the end. No, no one thought it would be you. Why would anyone think it would be you? Clown retard. Why would it be you? Habits. Are we done with your bad stand-up routine? Almost. But you always gotta end on your best joke. She fired a revolver. Why did I hear a shell casing fall to the ground? I cannot properly describe my hatred for them for playing this music during this scene. Time for us bad guys to save the world. Time for us bad guys to save the world as they execute Batman. Fully recognizing that he's probably one of the best, if not the best person to have on their team. No attempt to permanently restrain when they had the option to. Just, just indulging in this fucking clown's interest in wanting to cause pain while also claiming to be like the, the, the fucking the one in the right here somehow. Yeah, and they do this 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 scene thinking what the people are gonna like this like, yeah, man, a bloodied and beaten Bruce getting humiliated throughout the whole fucking game, it interrupted on some of his most iconic lines, all of his stuff getting pilfered by basically every character, constantly insulted, dragged around, put in a fucking Pokeball, defeated in his possibly most powerful state, an evil Batman with fear toxin with no limitations, and he's defeated because Harley Quinn is crazy. God, they really wanted to make it so that she had like full power over him in almost every way, shape, and form. Just kind of cringe, isn't it? They can't write, so they couldn't make any of this work. And then we end up here, Batman just executed <laughs> on a bench. And while they're they like, oh, this should go over well, right? Oh, you know, the Suicide Squad, right? They're like, they're, you know, they're like bad people. So that it, it kind of just works. And yeah, I wouldn't blame anybody for literally having a bazillion golfing flashbacks right now. Oh, what a game. It's top notch, nonstop. The current iteration of Harley is grating enough on its own, but kind of gets worse when you realize that this is supposed to be canon to Arkham, a series that always portrayed Harley as a more sinister figure than most other sources. Sure, she's still dumb and kind of pathetic, but she was much more willfully active in many genuinely despicable acts throughout the series. To turn that version of the character into the anti-hero Harley just doesn't work. It's a lot more believable when she was more of a goofy henchwoman in her past who played a less active, or at least less destructive, role in Joker's schemes. At least there, you can see that she's probably not a bad person at heart, so the transition to a more heroic role makes some sort of sense. <laughs> I'm 
Brainiac's like, wait a minute, did another one of my dudes die? God, maybe I should do something about this. Oh, he would have wanted this. The real Batman, I mean. Yeah, he would have wanted this. Yeah. Is she about to make a speech about how, look at us, we're doing the right thing? So technically this is what Batman wanted, to be fucking tied up and shot in the face. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, in a way it's kind of what he wanted. Just kill him, please, just kill him, laser him, boom, done, dead, just kill him. Ready for another shitty boss fight? <laughs> One of the world's finest heroes. Snuffed out by this. Yeah, I know, it's fucking insane. Mm -hmm. And you're next, asshole. Why the hell did they get the responsibility to write this story? Like, who, who allowed them this opportunity with this amount of money and exposure? How? Who? Why? What are the great mysteries of our time? Sure. Mm-hmm. Not so funny now, is it? Just kill him! Laser! Boom! 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 Boom. All four. One line. Done. Separated at the torso. Done. Easiest thing ever. Just bullet sponge shit again. Oh god. I seem cruel. Let me reassure you. That's the intent. Oh! If I seem cruel, it's because I want to be. There's more potential in the tip of my finger than in your entire race. Nice. Bullet sponge doesn't even cover it, man. There is no justice, only pain. Callal during the Superman boss fight. Very good summary of the game. Thanks, Clark. fucking end of this fight so you just have to keep shooting him. Absolute trash. Like just the four of us sent your ass back to Krypton, Kal El. Gonna stay tapped out this time. Shut up. Lolly drop bullets. We killed Superman. Hell, we murdered the whole Justice League. Yep. A little scared, maybe. I do not think it can show micro expressions. I love how much we just don't like care me. about the death of Superman. I like how it's never acknowledged that the Justice League are merely victims of Brainiac's mind control and were once great heroes and great people. But no, they get killed off casually and the actual murderers and psychos get treated like good guys. Reversed morals, anyone? I'm calling it Task Force X-4. Justice League and Brainiac, zero. Shut up. So it feels like we've grown as people from killing all these people. You want a high five? Know what, Quinn? I do. Up high. This game sucks. Celebrating before the game is over. Don't you know this is my game? I make the rules. Kill him. I want to show you what happens next. Let's call it a sneak preview. Why is he British? Because he's evil. Perhaps you were too busy ending the Kryptonian to notice. But my invasion continues. Invasion always continues. Listen, the British do evil the best, all right? How did you defeat my Justice League? <laughs> That's a great fucking question, mate. I just don't get it, man. Why didn't this happen the whole time? Your code, your attachment to your progeny. We don't need those. 
I will make you into the greatest assassin in the multiverse. Harleen Quinzel. I will kill you because you're cringe. Potential. What he Held should say. By your friends. For me, you'll burn this earth down. And why stop at one earth? Connected to my intelligence, Nanawe, you'll have the knowledge you crave. Wouldn't it have made way more sense for this to be a game where the whole Justice League had taken over except one? Literally pick any. Probably Batman. Because Batman's a hard, fucking hard motherfucker to find. And then he has to work through the whole campaign freeing all of the other Justice League members. And with each one that you free, you can play as them for the rest of the campaign if you want to. Until you free everybody and then, you know, like that. Wouldn't that have just been a thing we could have done instead? Why did we do this? Did they really think that Suicide Squad was just so profitable as an IP? We had to make this? I don't know. As you devour all who would resist my enlightenment. No need to thank me for my interdiction. We have more pressing... Lex, send me back. I didn't get to hear what Brain Man was gonna give me. He won't get the chance. Next time his gangly ass pops up, he's getting two in the forehead. Yeah, okay. Brainiac will already be dead on account of my having devoured him. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry, boys. We're gonna shoot him, eat him, poop him out, maybe shoot him again. It'll be great. I mean... So? Remember, what happened, Lex? We got an like Brainiac has basically outpowered and outplayed everyone, has access to basically what everyone can do. The Lex Luthor of this universe got fucking completely punked as well. But this guy, he's got it. He's sorted it out. It, it makes sense. I haven't even en entered the idea that this is all a trick from Brainiac to get information out of him or whatever. No, I just don't think the writers are capable of twists. Well, certainly not fucking good twists. I guess they thought it was a good twist that, uh, Ollie's the one that kills Batman, so... Thirteen Brainiacs. Even if you were to somehow defeat one, your fight is far from over. Okay. What I need you to do is collect three fizzle fabs that we have to inject into key development terminals for Brainiac. Unfortunately, all three are hidden in a room that has monsters outside that you've got to defeat. And then when you plug them into the terminals, it activates a, a horde of enemies as well. And once you defeat all of them, Brainiac will appear as a giant purple skull, and you have to hit him with counter, and then throw a grenade, and then you can hit him in his weak spot. And then, then you will defeat Brainiac. I hope you've like excited by the, the rest of this game. Oh boy, it's just, yes. The Justice League are all dead. Plenty of unsuspecting victims to blow up and get cool toys from. Ladies and gentlemen, the lady who's trying to morally grandstand Batman. And best of all, Waller don't have a clue. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Did you four really think you were doing this on the down low? It didn't make any fucking sense, did it, game? I'm not proud of you for thinking that this is like a good twist. It's not. None of it made any fucking sense. What did I tell you about playing dumbass double agents? You're our daddy. Goddamn right. I'm taking control of that phasing tech you used to pull their asses out of the fire. <laughs> Whatever. And then, I'm going to control- Wait, Brainiac is voiced by Jason Isaacs in this game? Aww. Oh, you. I always get what I want. And let me guess, you're not gonna die by the end of this. You'll be just fine. Boomerang. Get him. Not so fast, Boomerang. So predictable, Amanda. I already have a nanobomb implant. Ironic, as Luther Corp made the nanobombs. And if anything happens to this Lex Luthor, the building goes with him. We, are, they just, are you just trusting that? Just gonna, he said he has one, therefore that's it. Also, someone just said, take him out of the building. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you kill me, this whole area is destroyed. You just like grab him, you go, all right, then. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Goodness, Luther's even slimier than the last one. Oh. Ma'am, you're still on. Oh, oh god damn it. <laughs> oh.
Oh boy. It's better without the cringe ass dialogue. My heart goes out to VAs with such great talent that they get jobs like this, how they must feel. I think maybe they just don't think about it, you know? They just move on. Like, try not to concern yourself with some of these projects. But then again, I guess they have to speak the lines, so. Bunch of giant space dildos ain't gonna stop us! Ah. We are Task Force X. Shut up. Together, we are unstoppable. With the plot and the writing, we are unstoppable. Brainiac. Yeah, just give me the horde. There's a bunch of horde missions, a bunch of people spawn, and I have to kill them. That's what's gonna happen next until we get to the next story thing. I get you. I got you. Uh, how they fool Waller with the radio given hack? I have no do dude, nothing. Nothing in this game makes any fucking sense. Everyone's hacking everything according to what they need to hack at the time. That's all they ever have. There's so many different people hacking so many different things. Molly, don't have to do this yourself. Please seek help. You have to understand. It's like someone vomited color onto the screen and then added the most tepid writing and it sounds unimaginable. It's pretty much that, yeah. Doesn't it fucking suck how much of a waste of an IP this is? How much of a waste of an opportunity it is? And then it's like, it's not just a waste. It's active damage to an IP. And, and then you just, you sit back and think like, why? Why, 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 why? <laughs> Why are you so fucking inept? To be honest with you, I feel like we didn't even properly understand the nature of the fact that Wonder Woman just got killed so casually. I, I even... None of it feels right in this game. It's all fucked. Uh, oh, imagine getting a coffee enema but mixing in four, ten boxes of crayons and splattering it over a canvas Jackson Pollock style. That's this game during combat. No, that is this game. You could even say the writing is like that. Cope session going on here? There is no coping with this. It's over. It's done. They've done it. <laughs> Nobody can cope with this. Why is Wonder Woman the only one with a semi-respectable death? Yeah, and it doesn't even make any sense. Like, it, the, the fact that they gave some level of respect to it felt completely out of place in the whole game. Not just in writing, but like in tone and style. Superman can hear every heartbeat on Earth. What's to stop him from finding the squad instantly? Everyone, including Batman, as the game proves, could have killed them at any point, and he just, they just don't. It's terrible. At least they didn't ruin the dawn. I have to keep him secret. Keep him safe. You shitbirds actually beat Superman. Yeah, apparently. Now Please play the monkey game again. Teen brainiacs across the lattice work of dimensions. Mm-hmm. Kill them all, get cool shit, don't go back to Arkham. Each pathway leads to a different reality, all ravaged by Brainiac. Okay. Elsewheres, elsewhens, elseworlds, you could say. Ooh, catchy. Finite crisis. <laughs> this sounds incredible. My God. So we need to go destroy stuff to get enough flame juice to be able to take on Brainiac. Basically, what I said when I was memeing, because that's the only thing they're capable of doing. The only thing they would be capable of doing. Task Force X, welcome to Operation Raising Heck. <laughs> For the love of raising hell. That's right. I've calculated that's the, the joke, just like that's it. Ready to raise hell. I'm 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 genuinely shocked that when he said, Are you ready to raise hell? That they didn't have Tommy Man go, Whoa, I think you mean heck. <laughs> Adding your heck raising objectives now. No Fucking need to pace hell. yourselves. We'll keep going until Brainiac says, oh, Uncle! Oh! <laughs> Stop talking! How are we able to do any of this when Brainiac has like full control of everything and is amazing? But you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It makes complete sense. Shut up. Oh, okay. You're strong, Nanawe, but I could shatter every bone in your body like coral, unless you join me. Then I will make you truly invincible. You say this, but you're not going to be stopping us, are you? Do not let the female clown make you look like fools. No, just eat. <laughs> Why'd you feel the need to reference that she was a female clown? Brainiac got the Admiral Thrawn treatment. I see. Oh, you destroyed the giant cannon I said you wouldn't be able to destroy. Well, no matter. It was all according to my plans anyway. Somehow. Throw your terminus bits. Like, I fucking know. Got this game because people enjoy Snyder's movies. I will say he's he's done nothing but add to the, the horrors of... But they're evil. It's like... Oh, please stop. Why does Jon Stewart talk like every black rapper slash comedian? The animated version is a matter-of-fact stoic military man who happens to be black. They even had, like, one line in there that related to it, I think. Like, uh, you know, stay focused, soldier, or something. He said something like that. What the hell? Shake it off, soldier. Shake it off. But he also seemed to be quippy as well. Everybody's doing the quippy shit. 
Where are the other lanterns? Where are Hal and Guy? Why do they gotta do this to my man, Sean? You're lucky that none of them are also in here. Bow before the king! The assault. There's room for more. Holy shit. This looks like absolute cancer yet again. I will help you. Fuck did he go? Oh. Yo, is life on land not trying enough? One thing's for sure, this Green Lantern's a bit more imaginative than Zack Snyder's straight laser three times than dead. Yeah, you can say that. Don't even want to know the logistics of brainwashing a dude whose power is his willpower, but man, all his constructs are guns or bombs, real creative. Yeah, it was lame. Very fucking lame. It often is. I don't know what it is about giving people who don't have imagination the chance to do imaginative things. Imaginative. Guys, you ever seen a mission where we have a car that slowly moves to a place and we have to defend it from random hordes? Well, you're in for a treat. Two years built this stuff as a mail truck, but the kids worked on it too. Anti phase and stealth tech, support software, microwave shielding, a chargeable EMP jammer poles. Guys, this is going to be great. Yep. You don't have to talk. Seriously. Janky combat, constant quips, visual diarrhea, fast paced, repetitive music that cuts in and out. This feels like I'm having a fucking stroke. Yep. Now you can attack the tower directly and get the payload moving. Aim for the weak spot. You can tell which part that is. Yeah, <laughs> Spawn the next thing. Literally said, this tower spawned. Busy work has spawned. How did the Just League lose if the ring can do that? I don't know, man. That's the one thing that, you know, it doesn't make any sense that we we're able to take we're out the Justice out. League, but it also doesn't make any sense that Brainiac was able to do what he did. They don't explain anything, and yet they want to have some kind of... I don't even know what they're going for if this is supposed to be compelling in any way, shape, or form. The ring almost killed them all. We were so close. Yeah, it was it was a really sad moment. What the actual fuck just happened? So that's a super chat that applies to basically the entire game, huh? They're all over the payload, and you're not. Shut up, Wallace. Jesus. Shield on the tower is done. Take it out. It's not even like we're just doing it instantly now. Done? Good. Proceed the did all that, and then it's like, all right. Anyway. You're approaching the terraformer base. Brainiac will throw everything he's got at you now. Oh boy. Start the payload arming sequence when you're in position. Man, if it looks like a suicide mission and smells like a suicide mission, then it is boomerang. <laughs> We're going over this. It's my mask. He smells. There's just more and more and more and more. Brainiac knew what kind of Pokemon Joker caught, he never would have come to Earth. It was a mistake for anybody to be in this environment, let's be honest. Soundtrack's very inconsistent that you're having a very exciting time. It wants to tell you that's what's happening. Batman is a room with a mic and really good Wi-Fi. Yeah, and he's just been commentated, because why wouldn't he, you know? Be warned against further interruptions. Oh boy, 
I took your first 15 warnings and I was super spooked by him. It just looks like a Fortnite PvP game, but you're fighting the mentally handicapped. Okay, it's exactly like Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Just bumping into random shit and shooting it. That's all I'm doing. It's funny that the founders of Rocksteady left the studio and started their own before this was even on early access. And the seven writers of this sludge never worked on any previous Arkham games, by the way. It makes complete sense. Of a Boomerang's accent is hardly different from Rang's exaggerated spoof one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking I am all right. God, did you, did you, did you guys just hear that? Brainiac would like to terraform and normally that's like making Mars like habitable, but here it's like the opposite. And for that reason, we should, we should stop this. It's like, oh yeah. I mean, also everyone's dead already. Like what? Imagine Brainiac's plan was to make the, the world a bit more livable or whatever. It's like, does that even matter compared to all of the death? Woman, Superman is fucking... <laughs> Superman and Batman are dead. Wonder Woman is dead. The Flash is dead. Green Lantern's dead. She's like, hmm, mm, we should probably stop it. All of you to stay as far away from these structures as possible. Stay away from them. Good for you, Lois. Uh, this is actually the setup. The twist is that you'll end up playing as Batman and kill all the Suicide Squad. That's genius. Oh, could you could you imagine how satisfying it would be to kill all these fuckers? Like these specifically. And Amanda. Oh, oh look, another car to defend. Woohoo! The only comedy in this game is the sincere moments. Also, why do they care about Wonder Woman and why is Poison Ivy a child now? Every time I pop back in these streams, my mind melts even more. As it should, yeah. Nothing ever makes any fucking sense in everything that develops. I feel sorry for those who see this in intermittent sequences instead of uh, straight up. But then I suppose the straight up people are not having fun either. Don't reference that song. So... Now that I've done all that, I get to do this, right? Bringing down our first Brainiac will be a team operation. While you engage his forces, your support squad will crack his data vault shield. You'll need to I'm looking forward to. Sorry, sorry. Wait, I don't actually have to do this thirteen times, do I? This end game content. So I've like, I've like defeated the the campaign. Out. Well, we'll do it once at least. Game Metropolis is 99% dead. Lois Lane. Wonder Woman is leading Superman away from civilians. Go underground. Ivy, I found underground stuff I want to destroy. This game did not. Hello, Nobody buys the 99% of people are We've dead. Nothing feels like fucking is happening in this game. Imagine how much this costs to make Robocop uh, versus Robocop. Yeah, they probably could have made many Robocop games for the price of this. I've been here for 30 seconds and this game looks crap. Because it is. Let's see what happens. Um... The first campaign. God, this is so cringeworthily not a campaign, isn't it? Time's ticking, and you have ancillary objectives to clear before hitting the vault. What? Now it's on you, Task Force X. Take this extra dimensional asshole out. Good God, woman. <laughs> Sounds like a job for the data gathering truck. Okay, team. It's time to take on our biggest data gathering exercise yet. This is just gross, the whole thing. Agreed. There's random Why shit everywhere. Tim is his son even locked him in base in Batman Arkham Knight after learning the virus and it was too strong. You could tell they were like playing with being, referencing anything that you actually care about as well with that scene. Twenty-six data shards. I'm sorry, Mr. Shot, it's just all my idols are dead. Yeah, all your idols are dead. In a fun world. I don't know, man. An hour has been sunk. All units, I am still falling and still need your aid. Christ. Striking at the dark. 
I mean, you know, if anything's gonna kill a shark, it would be fucking water. So things of fun to note. Morla is playing the shark character who has an ability named Strong Swimmer, but he can't actually swim in the gameplay. The computer-controlled characters don't seem to do anything aside from reviving you. Like when Morla is fighting the cannon, and the weak point is exposed. Unless the player is attacking the cannon itself, the HP doesn't move so the AI is most certainly not attacking the weak point. And they don't seem to be aiding with the Collect MacGuffin objectives part of the mission. Man, how are we gonna do the Batman fight? What if we made him a giant demon with freaking laser beams? <laughs> Why, Bubsley? You dead. Why, indeed. <laughs> yep. Quickly. They really yeah, spammed the amount of incubators on this, huh? So I tell you how many of these facilities I have on this world. Good luck, Task Force X. Okay, so disappointing how much they did the little they did with Arkham Batman's fights. Gel that does nothing, and no other gadgets, walking sim, then giant demon fight with three moves. Should have been Arkham games from villain's perspective, what a waste. Yeah, that would be really cool, there's loads of potential there. Man, this game is so shit, it just reminds me of how much I can't wait for God of War Ragnarok to come to Steam already. Oh, this is gonna be a cool day for a lot of people, that is, because people ain't, you know, not everyone has a PS5 and stuff, but um... Be a cool day when they release the next game as well, if they have the same attitude. Very sad to see the state of these boss fights in the game, along with everything else in this pickled abortion. Remember when Arkham games had great boss fights like Solomon Grundy and Mr. Freeze? Yep. Mr. Freeze, you had to come up with a bazillion different ways of damaging him, and he kept learning and countering, right? It was, uh... This is spiteful nonsense and some of the worst comedy I've seen. These devs are simply unworthy of characters better people made. Ad was, as would lose it. As wouldn't be able to complete this. He'd be so fucking angry. Now I'm getting, like, Destiny vibes, you know? Big spooky alien in a big ah, arena. The Suicide Squad. Hey. <laughs> a fitting moniker, given how the next few minutes will proceed. Ah, uh, you can make that joke about a million times, huh? Okay, Brainiac. <laughs> Whoa! We all them fights where we're here for about 10 years and figure out the meaning of life. The fucking game is ADHD riddled. I fear I'm losing my impartiality. This one's a drop and stop. ADHD people have stands. So true. This fucking boss fight, man. It's lights. Lights all over the place and fast action, loud noises. Oh, it's so... It wants to convince you it's good, you know? I don't drink, but this game makes me want to. Uh, I saw these suits on Twitter and thought they were tasteless AI-generated fan projects. Why is this in the game that people charge money for? Hopefully the brain melting isn't too terrible and have a good one. I'm hoping to survive. I think I will. And, you know, it's, it's funny because we, we've already encountered things in the menu that are like, pay more to get this, and it's like, just go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm so not interested. What the fuck is going on?
Mawler prides himself in his ability to understand and analyze media yet he can't even notice its most resourceful aspect. You see, Brainiac is such an intelligent character that he becomes self-aware of his video game character status and knows that the only way to truly die is for the player to uninstall the game. He is the one causing the bugs and the disconnections, so that he can finally rest. A bold move from the developers. I applaud these heroes. All the fucking fights are exactly the same. Now, where were we? They just take 10 fucking decades to let it happen. Every boss fight. Boss never fights anyone. Boss is artillery lobbed from a distance. Boss keels over in exhaustion off screen. Fucking piss. Oh, the sponge nation. You know what I mean? We Squad him. five. Tiny Brainiac, zero. All right, that was pretty good. You straight up executed the damn Batman. Yep. What if that broke it? Why? Why would? Why even think about something like that? Why would you? Why? Why would you even consider that? Why would it matter? It's fine. Just shoot shit randomly. He does it a lot in the in the in the in the whole game. He just shoots shit. Always works out, you know. Superficial, mean-spirited game by mean-spirited people with no respect for DC. No way they could have respect for DC with a game like this. It would, it would blow my mind. <sighs> hey, son, you learned the context yet? Yes, we've got pretty much all of it. Uh, as far as I'm aware, we're at the end of the game. Like, actual end of the game. I think this might be one of the last cutscenes. Can you imagine killing fucking 12 Brainiacs? Jesus. God, this is so shit. Waller out. Shut up. Jesus. God, why do they think people would like her? Once you've defeated all 13 no, maniacs? No, 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 no. Yes. You mean 12. Mm. Brainiac has such an easy victory for him. 1. He has most the JL mind controlled and doesn't have any of them help or defend his JL members when they are being attacked. If the SS has to deal with more than one JL member it's an instant loss for the SS. 2. He could have just mind controlled JL members and don't make them act super evil or destroy stuff. Have them blend in and take other people one by one till he has all the people in the world under Brainiac's mind control. 3. He knows about other multiverse other Brainiacs, who probably also have heroes and villains mind controlled with their powers, other the Brainiacs can use. So, even if one of the multi-Brainiacs somehow team up it's all over. 4. He is Brainiac who is supposed to have a super high IQ, but he never has any of mind controlled JL members to just destroy any of the SS when they can. Although strangely he has Batman destroy the Bat family, but not any SS. 5. He doesn't take over the Hall of Justice for some reason even though it has all the juicy knowledge there that he loved to have, which might lead to Wonder Women to need to hide back in Themyscira which leads to barely no one defending anyone which leads to Brainiac to focus just on Amanda Waller and other Lex and overwhelming them. 6. If he can take a power why not just take Superman's powers? Also with the Flashers, powers he could just travel back in time using the speed force. Brainiac has a super easy win, but lost to the greatest power of all, plot armor. Fucking never kill me a million times over, no way. Utterly despicable. Like, did they forget the Justice League was brainwashed? Like, never thought to save them? Nope, didn't even enter their minds, even though they apparently have feelings, concerns, you know, just like real people for all kinds of shit. Only in theory, though. Can't believe I tune in right at this moment, laugh my ass off, what a joke. It really is. If Spider-Man gets his brains blown out and Mary Jane gets fucked by his- in his corpse, it's okay because villains are bad, makes total sense. Yeah, it's a great argument. Fuck all of you. Paul Dini, the creator of Harley, is the writer of Asylum and City, noticed the difference in her writing and said very few things. I actually get it right. Yeah, of course. Well, everyone, story completed.
there it is. <laughs> I guess that's it. It's as straightforward as that. <laughs> Holy shit. Shut up. So fucking loud. It just ends like that. Fuck it, I'll skip that, it ain't. God. Metropolis, this is Lois Lane. Oh, here we go. From all reports, it seems that Batman is... gone. Yeah? As Batman and as Bruce Wayne, everyone knew him. Everyone knew his voice. <sighs> Always prepared, he left a communication with the Daily Planet in the event of... Well, it reads... When I put on the cowl, I became a symbol. But I never stopped being Bruce Wayne, citizen of Gotham. Remember that we are all handed adversity in our lives. No one's journey is easy. It's how we handle that. How we help others that makes us unique. That's what the Batman will always stand for. How fucking inappropriate Metropolis. at the end of this game. We'll get through this. Holy shit. And Batman, goodbye. Wow. He will be missed, but never forgotten. Even the line about the voice. Oh my god. I feel so How did you how did you know to do this? But you kept everything the same about his death scene. I don't understand. How can you put this on the end of this game? Oh. An iconic piece. You could say I'm... Shut the fuck up! Constant talking, constant notifications, constant unlocks, colors, explosions, quips, talking. Kevin's eulogy being immediately followed up by a loot box popping up and a funny quip from your character describing what they got sadly perfectly summarizes this trash heap of a game. Sound... Oh, good God. The fight against Brainiac will continue in Season 1. And beyond, expect new gear, Elseworlds, and squad members as you chase Brainiac acts across Destin. More DLCs, content passes, services, all ready to go. That's how you play video games. I'm sure it's wonderful and amazing, and everyone's going to be so excited to do so. Oh, just my favorite thing. Video games. Love them. Let me out. Go get them, tigers. God, so gross. All of it's, like, so corporate, and please buy more things. They're, like, advertisements. Like... You think it's a video game, but it's just fucking advertisements everywhere. <laughs> Both Superman and The Flash have said, it's not often I get to cut loose, and yet the, then they do this. Just end them, Superman. Oh, I would have loved it if they had been killed several times in this fucking... I refuse to accept this is canon, fuck this game. Yeah, nobody will be. This needs to be forgotten. <laughs> like, this game needs to go, it needs to be binned. By the way, has anyone mentioned how much of a power vacuum killing all the heroes creates? Who's gonna stop Doomsday, Darkseid, Mongol when they invade? Doesn't matter, they're all dead. They're all just dead. Fuck it. Watch Superman say I'm not a fan of justice. Oh, I'm sure they, they that, that was line was in there, just didn't activate, you know? Didn't trigger it. <sighs> New support squad missions. Kill in time. Metropolis invasion levels. Mutators. Mastery levels. New notorious items. Bane infamy sets. Incursion missions. Are you ready to get back into the fight? Dude, the fucking end credits and the way this game ends was so funny. It just goes... <laughs> Like, like, they were like, uh, I guess that's the last cutscene. Should we have some kind of ending in any way? It's like, nah, it's fine. Just throw up a thing and then go hardcore to like a brr, 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 into the credits and we'll just, just throw, that'll, that'll be it. It's just the end. Anyway, back into the game. You know, like, because there is no end. It's just content, slurry, stuff. Shut up. Christ. This feels appropriate. It's like what they did to the world. Just obliterated. The entire population are dead. All the heroes are gone. There's fucking a billion bad guys. Everything's corrupted. Broken. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's spare everybody. It's about time, isn't it? 
while we uh we talk about well get some get some of the messages read but we can just mute the incessant non-stop dialogue it'll be great oh okay i love the fucking noises just constantly happening too all kinds of alerts and satisfaction the uh the pure zoomeriness of this game zoomers demand better okay what a dumpster fire of a game why these jackasses feel the need to do this travesty is beyond me it's beyond us all mate like wh why did this get made <laughs> They destroyed Brainiac's character. Brainiac didn't even stand a chance. It's absolutely baffling that he was able to defeat the Justice League. And then they were beaten by the Suicide Squad when corrupted and teamed up with Brainiac. For some reason, none of them help each other out except in early cutscenes where they're allowed to. Oh look, Riddler's trying to talk to me. Too bad, you're muted. Wonder Woman's bio in her codex is the goodies section. Compliments her for taking on toxic masculinity. For real. They've solved so many of our society's ills. Broken democracy, lagging technology, toxic masculinity. <laughs> That's so fucking silly. That's what you need, you feel the need to mention. I love you put that next to broken democracy. Sure, man. Hey, Muller, if this game was a Justice League game instead, but with similar to gameplay, what do you think it would be? Well, I still would criticize it for the shit writing and the horrible gameplay, even if they respected the characters, because apparently they're not capable of writing. And the gameplay was fucking abysmal. I don't know how you guys could conclude anything else from what you saw as well. And I wasn't even bad at it. Like, we got stuck once, and I died, I think, I want to say, like, a grand total of about five times. And I was on the hardest difficulty. And I'm not some fucking hyper pro player, okay? Muller in chat, I just want to remind you that this time is a finite resource. Please don't waste it playing terrible, terrible games. Good luck and Don Bless. Oh, well, that's the idea here, I would say. I think I would have prevented many sales of this game just by playing it. I'm hoping that at least, you know, a percentage of the audience had some intention or a 50-50 thing on whether or not they would want to spend money on this and have, have hopefully seen this and been like, no fucking way. I would absolutely agree. Put, put your time into fucking anything else. Absolutely anything else. This game is abysmal. It's designed to mine money out of you. Designed to keep you in like invested with nothing meaningful just uh rewards constant constant stimulation and rewards it's it feels like it was built in a lab and it's gross and it's not what games should be it's not what games are capable of being green lantern's goodies co codex is an absolute joke shows how little they care about the characters oh god Look, I barely even know the guy, past reputation, architect and marine, probably was an honor student, wholesome all-American white picket fence type stuff. Kind of guy that makes you think, oh, one of the good ones. That's before getting some alien jewelry and becoming a space cop. Shouldn't have... He have been on, like, Mars or something? Some distant planet, not in Gotham, interrupting my business? Man, I don't even know what you want me to say here. I guess he's a good role model for the kids if you want your kids to grow up being know-it-all narcs. I, I, I don't I don't understand what so whoever whoever wrote that just hates Green Lantern or hates Jon Stewart specifically okay the Wonder Woman one is excessive about all this fucking crap oh it's from it's from Lex Luthor he has all this fucking appreciation and, and, and all this shit and then he's just like fuck you I don't give a shit about you Green Lantern go suck a dick well, yeah, it seems because he's a cop. Like, he's, he hates him because he's a cop. But, like, that doesn't make any sense if you're going to have assessments or, like, logs that will reflect what their achievements are. Like, why would he like Wonder Woman? I'm tired of gross media. <laughs> Can't believe Rocksteady committed Suicide Squad. I know what this game is. It's Borderlands 3 and Crackdown 3 blended, juiced, and thrown out in the sun together, leaving that thing on the pavement. You perpetually walk five feet around on your way home. Yeah. Read Batman's. Oh, why do you guys want to do that? Ah, Man of Steel and Defender of Metropolis. One would be hard-pressed to find a worthier adversary, yet he is said to be a kind of empathetic soul, born on Krypton and whisked away mere moments before the planet's implosion. He grew up on a small, simple farm in the middle of North America, discovering his powers and deciding to use them for the good of all. He quickly became the hero we all know as Superman. Why the fuck is that not given to John? What the hell? The most basic bio ever. Instead, it's all, like, fucking petty and shit. We would be in dire straits had he taken the much simpler and less morally complex road of becoming an unyielding tyrant and e as evidenced by the current situation. What the hell? Let me tell you a little something about old Batsy. Somewhere deep underneath all that black and brooding is an unresolved trauma. There's a guy who's just nice. Now, I know how that sounds with the beating people up and the I am the knight and the occasional forays into psychological torture, but think about it. How many times did Joker end up back behind bars instead of rightfully six feet under? Dent? Bane? Frickin' Ivy? I mean, I'm still here. He's a softy, though. Uh, through and through. A softy with a vast disposable income and a deep need for other outlets for his aggression, but still. 
I don't understand these entries. The John Stewart one is fucking wacky. Also, the Wonder Woman one is so much more excessive and praiseworthy than, than the others. Cringe dialogue, cringe VA, Floyd race swapped again, disrespect double standards, bad story, depressing end of great characters for the sake of being edgy, boring character combat, samey game loop. I don't remember Tara being this bad in the older games, why bother saying the actual Floyd is an imposter when you could just say this is a different guy. This shit is a mess. I hope Rocksteady thinks this was worth it. Also character designs are a mess. More than half are just generic looking, and the classic outfits still have the garbage new designs on half of them, ruining the point. How do you feel about the game so far, and is Red Dead Redemption 2 in the near future? Probably not in the near future, and I kind of hate this game. I think it's pathetic and disgusting and, and just worthless, and you sh nobody should play it. <laughs> you can say I'm not exactly happy with it. Genuinely feels like Lois's broadcast are from a previous iteration where there were resistance forces all about, but then they got stuck in the 97% KIA. Her, her reports sound like Gotham is mostly okay, but there's been attacks in places, you know? Doesn't feel like 99% of people have been wiped out. It's more like a fleshed out Fortnite campaign. The Fortnite campaign the game was intended to be before it went in on Battle Royale. Lame. Oh yeah, there's, there's modern shit is splayed across all of this uh, in terms of a designed game. And say how well written and sincere the JL cartoon was for children, and then you have this written for adults. Arkham games uh, also clear this hard. This gets cleared by almost everything, man. I'm not even kidding. Pissing on the shoulders of giants. Yep. If you think I know how to play this game, I don't. Mulbonious bangers. Also, this game has the most noise, both visual and sound. Make it stop. Yeah. Absolutely. You're gonna start speaking like Luthan Rail after this torture. I've given up all chance at inner peace. I've made my mind a sudless place. I share my dreams with ghosts. Thank you for your sacrifice, Morley. No problem. Like I said, I think I would have done more damage to this game just by playing it than uh, most advertisements, I guess. No, Rocksteady, you do not get to do this. Nope. Literally just staple on the eulogy. Yeah, it doesn't feel like the game at all felt that way. It feels like something they were like, oh shit, put that on the end, please. <sighs> the thing is, you can still change it. You still have plenty of time to change it. You could do whatever you want. It's so easy. You could have Harley goes to shoot him, and then she knocks him out, and then we find out he's, uh, you know, under, he's captured, and, and then, you know, story-wise, just have a throwaway line that we're dealing with him, we're trying to cleanse his mind, or whatever, and he doesn't have to be in the rest of the game. You don't have to change much. And hell, even if some things didn't make sense, I think people would appreciate it. That was so disgusting, I don't have the words. Nope. Hope this game is pulled and deleted like the Avengers game. This is not canon, it lacks the soul to be. Oh, we can only hope it gets the fate of the Avengers game taken away from fucking humanity. <laughs> Placed in Pandora's box and shut forever. <sighs> I was gonna buy this game for the shits and giggles, but having gotten a migraine from just watching the stream, I will not. Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's at least two that I have uh, denied. Watching this was horrible. The gameplay sections were mind-numbing and headache-inducing. The only relief was getting angry at the cutscenes. Why? Why indeed? All the wonderful component parts that makes a video game. They kind of fucked them up, didn't they? Round two. Could you imagine me fucking streaming this campaign again? I gotta go. That post credit shit pissed me off. Mm -hmm. Hope Rocksteady closes. This was disgusting. I don't want another game from these people. No, thank you. Uh, can you go maybe, maybe make them design like a pixel art game where you can only jump and just see if they can get that right. If maybe they make that good, then we'll give them the ability to walk left and right. And we'll go from there. No characters. They have to earn the right to have a character. Rocksteady's going to suffer layoffs, or maybe a closure after this. It's been like eight years with no game, and this game likely won't even break even on its own budget. Never mind making up for their canned Superman game. I'd like to hold out hope the Batman tribute at the end was sincere and the devs were just woefully unaware of how bad the optics were. I'm sure it was. I don't know how what, people wouldn't be sincere when saying thank you to Kevin Conroy for all the amazing work he did. But at the same time, it's just, how do they not see what they did with this game? That's that's what we're trying to point out, I guess. It's like, it's just ridiculously incompetent and downright distastefully disgusting at a certain point. Some of it was intentional, obviously, at least. But yeah, I wouldn't deny anybody's, you know, grief with, with losing someone like Kevin Conroy. I don't stand that completely. I don't know how a eulogy to a voice actor uh, I love can make me feel so violated and disgusted. It's because of it coming after all of this. It, it feels so dramatically inappropriate. And being sandwiched as well between all this bullshit, the modern, like, like, you saw what happened. It ended, and then King Shark is like, Oh, I've got a new god! It's just like, oh, god. They clearly slapped that on, just like they slapped the ending onto this game as well. 
Just like they slapped the campaign onto this. Send Rags a picture of the pump action lever shotgun. Uh, I don't even... I don't think he should be made aware of this. I joined at the end and this alone is enough to not make me want to buy the game, would unironically rather play Gollum. Gollum is a happier game. Did the context make things better? No, it did exactly what I expected, which was going to be... It was going to be way fucking worse. Which is honestly the most common thing to have happen with something that looks awful on the surface. You dig in and it's absolutely dreadful. Specifically, it's not even the... It's good they have a eulogy, it's just so tone deaf with the rest of the game. Like where it sits in, you know, in between the, the events. Read Flash Codex. All oh, right, yeah. All you need to know about Flasher is that he's a shiny red beacon bastard to every high school sports captain who ever thought they were better than you. You're just making a living as hard-working rebel, and then this guy shows up throwing his weight around, calling himself the fastest, the funniest, the best. Who asked, mate? If he was any more full of himself, he'd have little flashies dripping off his nose hairs. Okay, so they hate the Flash and Jon Stewart then. How did this stuff get approved? It doesn't get approved, does it? Someone has the responsibility of writing it and no one checks it. That's how it happens. Wonder Woman's is like, good lord. Enter Wonder Woman, so named, I assume, because one wonders why a woman of her caliber and ancestry would leave paradise to play in the mud with us. And then you have Batman. Well, you know, he's, he's, he's a guy. He's pretty nice, I think, underneath all that, you know? Clark Kent, basic fucking Superman context, and uh, it would be bad if he was evil. Okay. The Flash, fucking obsessed with himself, little bitch, whatever. Jon Stewart, God, I hate this guy. <laughs> it's just like, what the hell? Why, why would, why would Luther write these this way? And and why wouldn't you make it if these are like codex entries? They would all have a basic bio. And then you could have an opinionated part. You should do annotations at that point. Oh yeah, there's way better ways to execute it. You have the basic bio so that you have it for anyone who's curious about where the characters come from if they didn't know. And then you do like little editorials or whatever from wh whichever character's relevant. You could have it from multiple characters, it doesn't matter, but... The Wonder Woman one's just funny. I don't know how much money you made on this Mola, but congrats on making more money than Rocksteady did on the game. <laughs> we'll see about that, because I, like I said, I have some cynicism about the popularity of this game. I don't know if this stuff actually works. I guess we'll find out, but I certainly hope not. I feel like it's time we say goodbye and never play this ever again. Uninstall immediately. And we, we thank the things in our lives, whatever they may be, that aren't this. Literally just seeing someone spit on the floor outside. You should be like, ah, oh, isn't it great that that exists? Because it could have been this. And you don't want it to be this. Anything but this. Watching this has caused me physical pain. It was rough. And, uh, honestly, not expecting it to have been this abysmally bad. I thought it was going to be bad. Didn't quite expect this, but it was an adventure. Yeah, you know, it's like, what's the worst game of 2024? Well, we've got a pretty good entry already. Assume you guys would agree on that. Who knows if it'll be the ultimate one. In any case, thank you all so much. That's going to be it for now. You have a nice day, nice night, nice afternoon, whatever. I shall see you. Bye-bye. There's nothing. It, it just it can't. I can't select my characters. There's nothing. It, it just endlessly loads. I can't change the look of my guys. They don't even pop up in them in here. I can't even change the loadout because the loadout ain't even fucking showing up. A gun model is not even showing up, right? <clears throat> but you go to that store. Look, you go to that store. Look at that. Look how quick the store shops, uh, shows up, bro. Look at that. Instantly. Instantly. Look, look. you want to buy some outfits? You want to spend some money? Look at that. Look how quick this shit shows up, though. Look how quick this shows up. If I wanted to spend $5 right now, I guarantee you the game would let me spend $5. But I can't play the fucking game.